Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays where we are building Clearwater County and hanging out a little bit normal or a little bit of a more normal time than usual. Uh, so today we're just going to build a little bit. We're going to uh, focus on fixing up some of our downtown buildings. We've had a lot of these buildings grow in and uh, we're just going to spend some time making this look a little bit nicer. It's going to be real laid back. And uh, what I really want to do is talk with you guys. Uh, it's an opportunity to just sit and chat. Uh, we've got a lot of cool people out in the, in the crowd. I see a number of familiar faces and I see a lot more folks in Europe, in the UK, which is exactly what I was hoping for. I know that this isn't the perfect time, but I did just get done with work an hour ago. So <laughs> it's a little bit better than, uh, than uh, normally. Uh, so I just want to see. I saw that we have Biffa out in the crowd. So hello, Biffa. I'm really happy that you're here. And I want to thank the two new members that we have. We have Wiggle Eyebrows and Liam's Having Fun. Thank you so much for becoming uh, channel members. Release early videos there. So thank you. And I want to see where you guys are all from. So how about in the chat? What do you say where you're from? I see some UK. I see Utah. Newcastle. Germany. Oh, look at this. Poland. Kansas, Australia, Netherlands, Denver. So many, ah, Sweden, Germany, Canada. So I've seen a lot of Europe, which to me means that the time is a lot better. So thank you, thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all so much. Uh, I'm gonna take it to daytime so we can actually see what we're doing. But I see Vegas, Ohio, holy cow, New York. <laughs> now I can't see anything. There's so many coming through. Uh, let's see. Eli, thank you so much for the super chat. I think it'd be awesome if you put a logo on SSU on that hill that faces the city. It'd be such a cool touch. I agree. That would be really neat. So maybe at some point uh, we will have to do that. Finland, Texan living in Spain, Utah, Atlanta. Holy cow. All right. Well, thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all so much. So there are a couple of things that we're going to touch on today. So first of all, obviously these buildings, in fact, this is where I, I uh, took the thumbnail for this stream from, uh, because this is this looks terrible. <laughs> so we're gonna fix them up, make them look a little bit more like this or even more ideally like this, what we, uh, what we put together in the previous video. So I wanna focus on things like this, but I also wanna focus on this. I keep forgetting about this. This is something that's been mentioned about a hundred times uh, in the Discord because I keep forgetting it and I'm glad that you guys keep mentioning it because eventually I'll get it. I need to come through, before we do anything, I'm just gonna fix this. So we're going to take off road bending and add anarchy on and have these connect in straight. I think this is how I'm supposed to do it. I think this is how. In the let me know in the in the comments if this is if I'm doing this right. Thank you so much, Screen Pillow, for becoming an associate planner. Uh, that means a lot. A uh, couple of things. So I was intending on having this as a something that could be edited. Unfortunately, my computer simply cannot handle that. Apparently, uh, so I'll have to have a two computer setup if I want to do that. So the uh, the VOD will go live as soon as uh, as soon as it's done processing on YouTube. So that will be something that I, I, uh, I put out just normally. And I'm gonna continue working towards, I have a capture card now, so I was hoping that I could use the capture card and use that to record the video. Just didn't, didn't work out this time. Uh, Laszlo, greetings from Europe, Hungary. I'm so inspired by your detailing sessions. I wish I had the patience to do the same. Unfortunately, I do not. <laughs> I totally get that. Uh, truthfully, you know, I, so I've been doing something, and you, you might have noticed this uh, as I've been putting out uh, the Squarespace ads. I've been going through and looking at some of my old cities, and I've, I've actually been thinking about pulling some through and just kind of taking a look at them in an episode. Um, no details at all. <laughs> so it's, they're pretty bad. They're pretty bad, but uh, they are what I learned on, you know. And and it's funny as I think about it. I wasn't a planner. Um, when I was playing SimCity 4, but I was when I was playing City Skylines the entire time. And it seems like I threw away almost everything I learned in school <laughs> to, to create some of these cities. So it's kind of funny. Uh, let's see, Zach, I recognize that name, Zach. Thank you so much for the super chat. Hope all is well. My wife and I are taking a trip to Milwaukee in September for our anniversary. Any suggestions on what to do? Uh, 
you gotta spend time on the coast. Um, check out the art museum. Uh, recently, I went to the Nat uh, Natural History Museum. Really cool. They have a, a nice exhibit with uh, mummies that my kids enjoyed. They actually have some mummies from uh, Egypt there, so worth a worth a trip. And then, uh, if you get really, really, if you want to see something interesting, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Chili something. It's a chili dog place. Probably the best chili dog I ever had. Kind of by some of the bars and the hotels downtown. Check it out. Uh, chili something. Can't think of what it's called. I'll have to think about that. Let's see. Brett, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you for honoring my family in the capital's name. Some oh, Brett Van Buren. There we go. Some suggestions for Van Buren High School. Little Magicians, The Foxes, both nicknames of Martin Van Buren, or The Navigators to honor Dutch sailing on the, Hughes, on the Hudson. So I have a question for Brett. Are you actually related like, to that Van Buren family? Or is, uh, is it uh, tangentially? That is absolutely fascinating. Those are great names. And we have someone very special in here that is going to help us with some of those things. Uh, so I believe I saw him in here. Do we have Tyler in here? Uh, Tyler's in here. I think I'm, I think I'm distracting him from his work. So <laughs> there we go. Uh, so we will keep those in mind. We'll have to have some, uh, some, uh, a poll or something coming up soon. Cities by Diana, thank you so much for the super chat. I've been a huge fan of the channel since the very early days. Binge watching Bluffside Crossing and how I learned to use mods and assets. Love it. Thank you so much. And I have checked out your channel recently. I don't know why it came up for me, but it did. And uh, very interesting videos. Uh, very, uh, they're scripted. They're well done. Highly recommend you check out her channel if you have a moment. All right. So I think I'm going to... Robin, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. I think I have an extra note here. So we're going to need to take that note out. You can see that there's a bump. So we'll come into the unified UI and just delete a node. There we go. So how does this look, everyone? Does this look, does this look the way it's supposed to look? Let me see. <laughs> Tyler Hunt, yes, I am distracting you. I'm gonna keep doing it. <laughs> uh, let's see, Galaxy, thank you. Uh, Galaxy the Dragon, thank you so much for the super chat. Have I ever been to Spitfires on state in Milwaukee? I have not, but I've heard of it. I've heard of it. Is it good? And Banana Man, thank you so much for moderating and for being in there and for being on it. I really appreciate that. Giving a, giving a, giving the link to Diana's channel. Thank you so much. Um, Bashman, been watching since you started. It's amazing to see how much better you've gotten with City Skylines, detailing, recording, audio, everything. Almost two years since your first Bluffside video. That's true. Uh, the first Bluffside Crossing video was six days from now, two years ago. So, uh, which... Fun fact, that's my half birthday. So I don't, I, I, that's kind of a weird, weird uh, fact. I only know that because someone I went to elementary school shared a birthday with me because her birthday was on August 16th. So, uh, and that just happens to be the day that I started the channel and uh, it's been an excellent ride. So many great people that I've, uh, I've met through this. Um, it's just been a, a, an absolutely fantastic experience. Ali D, I'm eating Culver's as I eat. Oh, I've not had dinner yet. Don't tell me that. <laughs> Keep up the amazing work, Phil. Thank you so much, Ali. I appreciate that. And Mark, thank you so much for the super chat. So here's a question for you all. Which part of Van Buren would you like me to start on? I'm going to release this as a poll. I could go through and I pulled down some assets to try to improve our low rise areas. We could either focus on that, there are some things that I've wanted to do, or we could focus on some of our higher density areas, tightening this up, adding some more buildings. Let's have a poll if I can remember how to do it. That's the thing. I stream once every month, uh, once every month and a half, and I always forget. <laughs> so <laughs> I gotta see if I can remember how to do this. Uh, right down here, create a poll. Uh, Jason, thank you so much for the super chat. Great channel, I'm a huge fan. It's more fun uh, watching you play the game than for me to play it. <laughs> appreciate seeing your hands in your review video. Thank you. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm glad that you're enjoying watching me play. Uh, I hope that you enjoy the game too, though. It's such a fun game. Uh, so let's see where to detail first. And we'll say high density and a low density. And we'll ask it, all right. And Didi, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. There's a poll up there now, and we are gonna see, let's see, we've got 1,118. I'd like to get 50% of you to vote in that, and then we will go forward and uh, try something. All right, Monkey Fit, I used to get discouraged watching Fluxtrads build his cities, but your videos are organic, 
of organically growing the cities makes it seem far less daunting to make a great looking city. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, it's funny, there are creators like that that I absolutely love watching myself, but I could never make a city like that. You've got to have a special kind of talent. And Flux Trance, you know, absolutely talented. Absolutely talented. Uh, miss watching the videos. Uh, Zach, February 16th birthdays represent, yes. You, me, and my mother-in-law. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. And Wallace Odom, love the videos and the inspiration. Keep it up, Phil. Thank you so much. Jacob, thank you for the super chat. Really been looking forward to this one. Well, I really appreciate that. High density is just running away with it right now. So it's it's looking, it, it, actually the high density, it's, it's looking like the, uh, the poll for should I edit the videos down or not, <laughs> which is, I'm sorry, I, I really wanted to. Uh, we'll get there. Uh, Nate asks, where is Clearwater County located? It's northern Wisconsin, the UP, and Minnesota. Just uh, just basically that, that whole um, bit of Lake Superior. So thank you so much for the super chat. All right, I think that we know where, where this is going. Uh, one thing I am going to mention, though, whenever I stream, I have a beer, except for the last one where I drank tea. And that's not something I can do two streams in a row. So I am having a Central Waters Brewing Company crew drive. It's a Pilsner, it's a lager, it's delicious, it's absolutely wonderful. It is brewed in Amherst, Wisconsin. And if you have the ability to get it, I would highly recommend it. It's a great beer. Let's see. Uh, Trippin, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. Let's do this. We're gonna end this poll and we're gonna get going. So I picked up some assets. Let's see if any of these fit well. So I went through Smiles list and Smiles has been posting some really excellent things. In fact, I need to to uh, join their patron uh, pay, their Patreon page and become a patron. That's something that I've been meaning to do. I, was, I will do that tonight. I will make that my goal. Uh, and I would highly recommend anyone else who, who uh, likes their assets. We are so privileged to have uh, an excellent modding community uh, excellent asset creation community that does all of these things. It adds all of this value to the game, keeps us all here you know, seven years later, and it, it's because, it's really because of this. So it's, uh, I, I can't help but, but be thankful. So I picked up a whole bunch of uh, condos, and oh, you're seeing some assets from the video. So I wanna, uh, okay, I'll, I'm gonna stay here because the next build is somewhere out yonder. And I don't want to show you guys that during this during the during the stream. See a fat tire. Fat tire is delicious. Um, is Van Buren based based on Duluth? Uh, not really, not really. We're we're going we're going heavy fiction at this point. We've got a I've got a. So I'll, I'll I'll let you guys in on something. I've been wanting to tell one story this entire time, the entire time. When I started out Ashland, there's one thing I wanted to tell the story of. Uh, a harm of urban planning and a, and a path forward to fix it. And uh, that's what I've been moving towards. Uh, so that's been in my head, my head since last year um, at the very start of this. So that is all I'm gonna say. <laughs> asset with no barn, uh, bad asset, <laughs> no barn quilt. Yes, there are spoilers. So uh, you actually, I haven't made a post on Patreon or YouTube yet, but I actually have the next Clearwater County episode up already. So if you guys want to see that, you can you can check it out. If you are a channel member or a, a Patreon patron. So I'm just gonna pull some of these out and take a look. I really love how modern these look. And look at this, we've got some corner buildings, which are gonna come in really handy in certain places. And this is exactly why I wanted to pick these up. So you can see that we've just got opportunities just galore with these. Oh. This looks like it is a mixed use building. So they could go on top. What is this? This is a, yeah, this is mixed use. So Biffa, <laughs> this must be similar to the one that you used, if not the exact same one. Uh, Brett Van Buren, we're first cousins about seven, eight generations removed. That is amazing. <laughs> we have a, we have a very special guest then. So this channel or this, uh, uh, this city is named for Brett Van Buren's family. That's awesome. <laughs> And that is one thing I love about YouTube. I mean, you just never know who you are going to, uh, who you're going to meet. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Yes, Cities by Diana says, uh, City Skylines needs more corner buildings. I completely agree. 
And I needed more corner buildings because if you take a look through here, I've got a lot of non corner buildings spawning and they are fine sometimes, but sometimes they look pretty bad. So all these zone buildings just look brutal. So what we're going to do, I want to create some blocks that are these older buildings. We are going to take some corners and we can certainly come through here and grab some corners and plop these on over. I'll just place that there for now and move some of these. So I'm going to try not to, I think there's a, it, you can really get into plopping mode where you just grab a whole bunch of plop buildings and just start placing them. I want to do some of that, but I don't want to go too overboard. And the main reason is I think that there should be a story for redevelopment. Why is it occurring? What parts of your community would that redevelopment occur in? It's not just you know, everywhere gets really nice buildings. You know, some places are going to have buildings that are historic and fine, but not the newest and shiniest. And I want to work towards that. I want to work towards that in, in some of these areas. Now, the one thing I want to be careful of is there's a lot of these buildings that just kind of look the same and every single block. And I think that this is the worst example of that. And I picked up a bunch of different buildings for this as well. I can see, let's see. Got a whole bunch of new townhomes that I picked up. So uh, we're gonna place some of those in there as well eventually if we get to some of these blocks. But that will be down the line. Let's see, Nightmaster, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, would you like the next City Skylines to allow you to build more high crime, lower income areas? That would be more realistic and allow more interesting builds. However, I see it's a double-edged sword. I would, I'd like there to be more diversity. I think that that is the one thing that is, you know, lacking is that that diversity in uh, the way that it handles buildings. It's, whoa, we're looking at this, we're looking up at the sky. Uh, so that's one thing. So Urbeck, I released a video uh, on Urbeck a few weeks back. And that was one of the things I liked the most about the game is that it just, uh, you know, it gives you that diversity. It allows your, your neighborhoods to choose a path based on the things around it. And not every neighborhood has to be you know, the, the very nicest, most expensive neighborhood. The, the thing that I like about that is that in every community, and this is something that, you know, I get frustrated with with certain communities, particularly in the suburbs, is they will have exclusionary zoning where they don't allow certain types of, of uh, uses. So let's say apartments, for instance. So then you don't give lower income folks the opportunity to live in your, uh, in your community, but you still want to have places that... Uh, you know, employ lower income people. So you want to have a restaurant uh, or, you know, uh, a Walmart or whatever it may be. And now those folks are forced to commute into your community from somewhere else, which is really difficult. It's a really difficult ask uh, in many cases. So you got to have housing for everybody. You've got to have uses that fit everybody. And that is the kind of thing that this game doesn't necessarily allow for right now. So I hope that the next one does it. Yes, so thank you. That was a good question. Uh, swimming, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. Swimming 05. Holy cow, I'm way behind. Uh, let's see. Thank you so much. Uh, Pre Ben LM. <laughs> Pre Ben LM. I love the videos. I prefer seeing you playing than doing it myself. Ha ha ha. You are so much better. I doubt that. I doubt that. Uh, could you maybe fix the side entrances to the train station? It has become. Uh, I think it has become. I think it just has visual concrete no path i will take a look at that i'm not sure i i, I will i'd love to take a look we'll take a look at that next there's another problem at the train station we got to take a look at uh eli you could make those bottom corner buildings into awesome courtyard plaza in the middle yes that is great i'm gonna do that we will do that thank you so much for the support i appreciate it and hello governor <laughs> have you looked into procedural procedural objects mods uh, that way you can deform buildings to fit the plot shape. Yes, I've looked. You know, I, I'm, I'm afraid of going down that rabbit hole. I'll think about it. There are some creators that are excellent at it. If you want to watch someone who is absolutely a wizard at procedural objects, I'd recommend two people. Number one is Will CS, one of the mods, who I believe is traveling right now, otherwise he'd be here. The other person I would recommend is Gaseous Stranger. Uh, doing, he's, he's working out a Pittsburgh series right now, uh, a one-to-one -one recreation. And if it's one of the series that I have just, you know, just because I'm a creator doesn't mean I'm not a viewer. So it's one of those series that I personally love to watch. 
So I watch it whenever I can. And the way that he is using or is, is using these um, procedural objects is just next level. I could never do it. <laughs> so uh, someone mentioned it's discouraging to see creators that can do things that are absolutely amazing. That's one of them that kind of makes me go, you know, maybe, maybe I don't need to <laughs> dive into that. So yeah, I'll think about it. It's certainly something I've thought about, but not something that has been at the at the forefront of my mind. Just because I think that there are other people who are better at it, and I think I could probably do a pretty boring job of it. <laughs> so I'm trying to find a building that'll fit well in this corner, and this could be a corner that was redeveloped. Whoa, we've got a fire. Maybe we can hide that building. <laughs> so interestingly, this doesn't really have a side. So I think the mention about the courtyard might be very apt in this particular case. Because it almost seems like you should take these two buildings and line them up like this. And if I would have held alt, that would have been better. But I didn't, so now we've got to do a little bit by hand. But you see that this just is a better fit. And then we could sneak something in between them. So a building like this or the one that's on fire, <laughs> whatever the case may be. So I'm looking for a good corner. I don't see one yet. I think all the corners are these angled ones, which could be interesting too. I'm curious if we come through here. Ooh, we're going to do it. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Actually, we'll just no need to get rid of anything. We're going to take this one, slide it in here. And we're going to leave this open so that we can have an alley coming through here. And what I want to do is we'll open this up for some parking and different things in the center. Take this building that's on fire and move it over there. That's the height of realism. That building gets in your way, it's on fire. Get rid of it. <laughs> uh, Nate, thank you so much for the super chat. You should build a World War One or two memorial somewhere in Clearwater County. We actually have a park for that right here. So yes, that would be a nice addition. We're going to do it. Vey, thank you so much for gifting 20 memberships. You are amazing. Uh, Vey did this at the, in, in the last stream too, so I really appreciate that. Biffa, go off to bed. <laughs> uh, Chris Collins, thank you so much. I'm glad that you're here. Uh, you finally caught a live. Love Clearwater County. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I uh, really appreciate that you're here. So the reason I'm not deleting any of these buildings is I do not want to inadvertently lose population. Our population's been growing. In fact, in the, uh, well, we were over 55 for the first time, and now we're not. <laughs> so um, I want a smaller building so we can have a small alleyway right here. Yeah, we'll sneak that through here, have some parking back here, and move this through and I, I know that recently I've been focusing more on parking I think I kind of got away got, got away from it for a while and I felt like it was something I needed to to get back to understanding that that is so important in these uh don't tell Phil I hate Milwaukee's planning <laughs> you know what I'm not from Milwaukee that's okay you can hate Milwaukee's planning <laughs> I've never planned there either <laughs> Ali. Hey, did you ever add the engineering bu uh, engineering building to the college bus line? I know I made a comment about it earlier. I do not know. Why don't we... We're going to finish this block, and then I'm going to take some of your requests. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, so we got Maggie, Maggie Mike McRods. <laughs> thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. And Mike Frazier. Thank you so much. I actually knew a Mike Frazier back in the day. Uh, the T.O. Show. Thank you so much for becoming an associate planner as well. All right, let's get an alley back here. So we're going to go through our, our 1U roads, and I want to make sure this is bi-directional. Maybe it doesn't need to be, but I feel like even if it wasn't, people would use it as such. And then we'll sneak this over just a little ways. We're going to remove the crosswalks here because that's pretty reasonable. This is a really short throat length, uh, so that length in between these two uh, intersections, that would be a concern of mine, but... We're gonna go with it anyway. The one thing, so this is a comment that someone made is, you know, remove these crossings. Now, as I look at it, I'm remembering why I didn't do this last time. This asset in particular looks pretty bad without the crossings. So when you remove this, so the crosswalks are right there. I'm not sure if there's a good way to fix that. So I might, even though, yeah, it stretches it. That looks terrible. So we're gonna leave that there. 
just know that I wouldn't I, I don't like that <laughs> so it's just one of those things ah joy's in here joy build cities another absolutely awesome creator and rise in here too so thank you so much for being in here so many people I recognize so thank you all for joining me tonight all right we are gonna move this over and let's start filling this in so we'll continue now the thing that stinks is I guess this has a this has detailing on the side I don't know what this is oh a new building <laughs> beautiful and we don't want this we are gonna move this out of the way and we'll scoot this over uh, the other thing that I've, I've been thinking about a lot as you look at some of these buildings or the, at some of these streets we've got this cobblestone street that I absolutely love we've carried it all the way through Van Buren it, they have no trees so I've seen comments stating that Van Buren is is basically become a treeless city and we're going to change that. We're going to turn Van Buren into a tree city. And the way that we do that is our new intersection marking tool. So what an exciting new mod. Oh, this building's too deep. We're going to try to separate these so that we have... I've got an idea. I've got an idea that I think is going to be really good. So we are going to pull some of these shorter buildings through so that we can have a road coming back here. Just a private road to access parking and uses behind here because that's something that would be you know, pretty much expected in this area so something that we would absolutely need to think about let's see how's the weather in wisconsin where i live tim asks uh here in germany it's warm sunny no rain since weeks and u.s temperatures were around the 90 degrees fahrenheit so we you know I, i'm gonna i'm gonna probably make people uncomfortable right now i think wisconsin has some of the very nicest summers in the world uh, when i moved away from here i missed them we are generally around 70 or 80 degrees so 70 is room temperature uh, in most places so it's really really pleasant now we have terrible winters we pay for our summers but we have some of the absolute we have some of the absolute best summers in the world in my opinion uh, so we've had some rain, and you know, we were supposed to have flooding. That was something that we were really concerned about recently. But it ended up escape. We ended up escaping from it. So um, definitely been thinking about a lot of other people, though. As I see, especially in Europe, all the heat that you have. I have friends in California who have dealt with some fires. Um, thankfully, we haven't had any of that. None of that. And I know that in Germany, you guys have been dealing with heat. I've seen pictures in the Discord where people are showing uh, roads buckling in Europe because of all of the heat and the asphalt mixtures, I think particularly in the UK, not being favorable uh, for all the heat that you guys are having. And I just, I really feel for you guys. So I hope that you guys are doing okay. I hope you get some rain soon. Let's see. And I think I missed a couple. Let's see. You got Marcos. Thank you so much for the super chat. The greetings from Brazil. I just wanted to congratulate you for the awesome work in the channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It's, uh, you know, I, 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 could, I wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for folks like you. You guys all make this absolutely fun and amazing for me. And then, honestly, other creators, too. Uh, the, the creator community surrounding City Skylines, I can't really explain it. It's just, it's really outstanding, you know? And I think you guys feel it. If you, if you, uh, everyone watches more than one creator, so... You know, you, you get a feeling for the way that we all interact with one another. It's absolutely amazing, and I, I just love it. So between all of you guys and all the other creators, just awesome, just awesome. 98 or 94 in LA. What part of LA, uh, Finn? So when I was in LA, I lived in the Valley for a while, and then I lived in West LA. When I was in West LA, I lived off, I lived off uh, in between Santa Monica and Wilshire. I don't think it ever got more than 75, 78 maybe, <laughs> in, the, in, the, uh, in, the, in the little over a year that I lived in that apartment. It's absolutely amazing. So here we are coming around this corner. Let me see. Eli, thank you so much. Uh, those weird angled buildings I met are, are what I meant for the courtyard, four facing each other. I'm running out of money trying to convey this idea. <laughs> Okay, I think I know what you what you mean now. So you're thinking if I were to grab these, let's just say we copy this.
Ooh, interesting. Uh, so if I were to grab these like this, we'll grab this other one over here. Let's spin it around. So is this kind of what you mean, Eli? Don't super, don't super chat, don't feel like you need, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look and see what you say. <laughs> so, at, actually, why don't you at me? Cause I can see those better. Not encouraging, yeah. Uh, Griffin, yes, these are cobblestone roads. Uh, Batch, I live in the valley, not the California one though. <laughs> uh, let's see. Eli, I know I'm a couple of seconds. Actually, I think I might be, I might be 30 seconds ahead of you guys in real time. Uh, CPP, don't know what you're talking about. It's 40, it's 84 and humid. Uh, second Appleton. Boy, we had a nicer day down down south than you then. I uh, I actually sat outside at lunch with my dog in my backyard, and it was 75 and absolutely wonderful. <laughs> so. <laughs> Sorry that it that it's uh, so warm in Appleton. I don't know why you guys are warmer. I'd assume it's 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 cooler there. So let's see. I don't see Eli. Batch, hello. <laughs> so if anyone sees Eli's comment, I want you guys all to copy it and just kind of spam the comments with it. Okay, maybe spam's the wrong word. We don't want we don't want to give banana too much work. <laughs> but, but I do want to see. I do want to see it. Angles facing each other. Okay, so you guys are thinking this. So we'll hold Alt. Is that what you guys are thinking? Uh, what is my drink for the stream? It is a Central Waters Crew Drive. It's absolutely delicious. Heat in Alabama has been killer. I can imagine. I can only imagine. Yeah, I mean, that's that's brutal. All right, Eli said other way around. Eli says other way around. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I think this is it. I think this is it. Hopefully this is it. Angles facing. Yes. All right. All right. All right. So we are going to absolutely work this in. We will do something special with this. And I wonder... It fits a little bit better this way. And we could put a fountain in between there or something, get rid of, yeah, I like that. That'll that'll be neat. We'll do something with that. All right, but let's finish up this block. I'm losing, <laughs> I'm just, I've created a bunch of madness over here. What we're gonna do is just send a road right down here and I am going to make sure I don't grab the two U road, the one U road, and we're gonna turn collision off. Now this is always dangerous. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it directly, in I guess two episodes ago the reason why I was struggling so much is I turned collision off and just utter madness and I had no idea what was going on just one of those things every now and then I do that and <laughs> I need to not <laughs> okay so I'm gonna leave that there and we will tighten this up Same here. I will angle those eventually. I think I might actually eliminate this. We'll just have an alley that kind of loops back around. We don't want to have more of those than we need. So the focus of the block will be right here. Interestingly, <laughs> that actually, the way it's set up right now, makes that like out, uh, the uh, wedge-shaped building an absolute good fit for right here. So I might need to use that again. We'll have to see. All right, Flip, thank you so much for the support. Love Clearwater County series. Any chance you could show us a plan you worked on in real life? Not while I am a practicing planner. <laughs> Maybe someday. <laughs> but right now, I think I need to uh, keep that little bit of a wall. And the main reason I do that, and you know, is uh, the last thing I'd want would be to draw distraction to my employer. So. If, if that's the case, that makes me make some really difficult decisions that I don't want to make. And uh, so I'm avoiding that at all costs, <laughs> if I can. I'm sure someday it'll come to a head, but hopefully that's not anytime soon. Grab the wrong one. Let's continue. I don't think that these are all, no, yeah. These are not the same. There we go. And I'm hoping that I can spin this around and make it fit really well. We're gonna have to do some things. 
to make this work. And maybe it's not going to work the way I was hoping. You know, we need like a, a slightly different angle. Actually, it's not too bad. Yeah, I don't like that at all. <laughs> so we're going to get rid of that. So let's see. Radon tomorrow asks, can we draw a picture and post it on Discord? I don't see why not. You can do whatever you want on Discord. Well, within reason. Uh, Andreas, thank you so much for becoming Associate Planner. Cameron, greetings from Australia. I just wanted to say thank you. Your videos helped get me through the pandemic, and you're such a positive dude. Thank you so much. And I hope that, wow, well, what time is it in Australia? You're either having a beer or you're not. It's probably way too early. I'm not sure. I should, I can, I can't, I can't. I have my, I have my Google Home next to me. But I realize if I ask that the question, you guys will all hear it. And that, and you would, I would, if you, any of you have Google Homes next to you, it would set it off. So <laughs> we're not going to do that. That would be terrible. Need more dog parks. Good point. Good point. We need more dog parks. In fact, I will take that suggestion right now. And let's go through and add a dog park. Anytime someone suggests I add a dog park, I feel like I have to, I have to do it. It's not going to fit right there, but we're going to make it fit somewhere. We're just kind of littering this entire area with random assets, and eventually we will figure it out. In fact, I wonder, that could be... No, we can't do that. We can't do that. But I've got an idea now, and Collision is off, <laughs> so we're going to need to fix that too. Dragon, thank you so much for the support. Just look for a city with all the dark po dog parks. That's how you know City Planner plays. Land. That's true. I have I have planned a, a number of dog parks in my day. <laughs> I've also uh, told developers, you know what this neighborhood needs? <laughs> it needs a dog park. All right, so we're just gonna play with some of these buildings to get them to fit, and we can always fill things in. Uh, one of the critiques that Americans always get is that we use way too much pavement, and we're gonna we're gonna do that. Uh, that's how we will make this look acceptable so let's finish this off we'll get this cleaned up nicely and i am backing these away from the sidewalk a little bit um it's okay to do that you still want to maintain that street wall if at all possible it just feels it makes the scale feel much better when you're walking so that's something that I, I very much care about, keeping that, that scale consistent there and creating that street wall. Uh, as a pedestrian, you feel it when something is off like that. It feels, it feels, it feels off. There's no, there's really no other way to put it. All right, so let's sneak one more building in over here if I can. Otherwise, we'll just fill it in with a little bit of grass. I think this is gonna be too big. Yeah, we got that building in the road. <laughs> so we will just sneak that over here. And look at this. Now it's turning into a neighborhood that people would actually want to live in. <laughs> because before, just that's the one thing about the the uh, the grow, growable buildings is they just when you have these high density buildings on a curve, I basically knew that I was going to have to do something uh, as soon as I drew this area in immediately it's like I'm, I'm making a commitment here <laughs> to to come through and do something otherwise it's just going to look very unusual so let's see eli thank you for focusing a whole minute of your time on me uh you know i could focus more I, that's that's fine by me <laughs> uh the bearded guardian uh good evening from las vegas any plans for the 100th episode of verde beach yes we are going to go back in time we're going to watch the development of the city Verde Beach is interesting. It has spanned the entire, the, basically the entirety of the channel. I started it in December 2020, so it's a, not exactly the entirety of it, but it's close. Uh, so it means a lot to me. Uh, you guys have all watched the channel come up with Verde Beach, and I'm excited to, to go back in time and look at how things have, have uh, developed over time. So that is what we're going to be doing. Um, looking forward to it. I think it's going to be really special. And look at, like, this is really special, too. I don't know what I did here. <laughs> it's no good. Let's get this back and Oh, you know what I did? I removed this building because it doesn't fit. So we'll just steal this. I will use Alt to get that to line up nicely. And we're getting close. 
getting close to this one block being done. And then we're going to pop by the station for a moment, take a look and see if we have a path there. And we've got to fix something that is broken. So we'll get to that. And we're just going to keep stealing buildings from across the street, one block at a time. Now, the one thing that stinks is I really don't have room to put any parking. I think we just might have to live with that. The lack of parking. At least you'd be able to access the parking that, that would come with the asset. But truthfully, these buildings would have been built when parking wasn't really a thing. So the way that you're getting parking is either to A, eliminate a building like that. And now those people are homeless. Uh, or B, and maybe we'll do that. We'll leave, we'll leave a little bit. We'll leave those people homeless and we will uh, add one parking lot. I could see that happening. And then over time, that would be the very first place that's redeveloped. Let's go through and add this through. And I'm going to steal one of our favorite parking lots. Let's see if I can find them. Oh, yes. By the school. Oh, no, I don't have them over here. Hmm. Right here. That's not it either. I believe this, this must be it. Yes, there we go. This is my absolute favorite parking lot. So let's see, I've got some more super chats I gotta get to, I'm, I apologize, I am way behind. Let's see, Alexander the Average, Ayo homie, put a dog park between the angle buildings, you guys like that? I will have to put a poll up there, that's not a, I mean, it's an interesting idea, let's see, Vexed Vet, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. Mexico Mo Rail Fan, I'm from Missouri, what's your thoughts about St. Louis, Missouri? Uh, it is a very interesting city, the downtown is absolutely great, very underrated. Um, I went many, many years ago to Bonnaroo, and after Bonnaroo decided to, I mean, this is obviously when I was younger and much more free-spirited, <laughs> decided to go to St. Louis on a whim and checked out the downtown, just kind of walked around, went on the arch, just very, very cool city. Um, yeah, uh, very affordable too, so that's definitely cool. Some really dark history in, in terms of planning and some of the public housing projects there. So, um, but that, uh, that is history that we must contend with. You know, planners must contend with. All right, so this is not big enough, which is gonna be an interesting thing. We're gonna have to delete another building to fit this in. So not ideal, but we're gonna go with it. And we'll just sneak this in. Yeah, I don't know that I like that. We are gonna need to do something different. Uh, that, this actually might be good for a corner. So I'll just turn this around and add this as a corner right here. And then we will change this, just slightly move this over, give some space. Yeah, that feels a lot more natural to me. As much as I think this stinks, <laughs> absolutely think that you would see something like that happen where that building falls into disrepair. This whole block, the buildings aren't, they're historic, but I wouldn't say that they're in, in good repair. So I think that it would be, it wouldn't be unusual to see something like this. Let's straighten this up as well. Clean that up just a little bit. And we've got a space here. I think we're just gonna add some landscaping. Let's see. Chardon 6710. Hi, Phil, I'm a math student from Ohio with interest in this stuff and was wondering, what aspects of mathematics do you find important to this craft? So it depends on what you do as a planner. If you work in a zoning office, for instance, and you are checking out setbacks and um, lot requirements, you know, just basic geometry is, is gonna be really important for you. If you can do that in your head, you're gonna be far ahead of most planners. <laughs> a, lot of us, a lot of us are not math people. We rely on the engineers for that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, that, that, that'll, if you can do that, you're gonna be a good, you're gonna be a good, a good spot. Um, and then GIS is, is very heavily math-based. So I do a lot in terms of you know, setting up databases and tables and stuff in GIS. So that is that is big. I mean, their big data is certainly becoming more of a thing in the profession as well. So that's something to, to consider. Uh, and I was seeing those trees there and I thought it was collision and I finally remembered to take it off. And of course it was the building. So <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much for the support. Let's see, Planner Duck. Finally, a streamer not on vacation, but sadly at work. Oh, bummer. 
Thanks for everything. Uh, gotta get back to a specific plan update. Have fun and catch you later. Thank you so much for Planner Duck. I, I really appreciate that. Planner Duck is amazing. Uh, on the Discord, talk with Planner Duck quite often, and uh, I appreciate that. Uh, appreciate the friendship, the support, and, and everything. Just absolutely awesome. And I apologize for, again, having a stream when you can't get there. And as far as vacation goes, that's me tomorrow. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to... Uh, to uh, queue up everything for Saturday, and then we'll uh, we'll get going. We'll get going out of town. I'm gonna be going and checking out the lake, Lake Michigan. Looking forward to it. Uh, we don't have the ocean close by, but that uh, it feels pretty darn close. Here, I'm gonna try to get these cleaned up as best I, as I can, and I think we're gonna. Not let perfect be the enemy of good here. And we can let some of this go. I just want it to look pretty good. And I think we're getting pretty close to pretty good. So there we go. Let's see. I think now it's finally time for us. Maybe if I scoot all these. Ah, this is going to bug me. So just a little bit off. I think just a little bit off. I'm going to scoot it over. There we go. Because this building right here has a significant overlap and it's gonna drive me crazy. So I will let perfect be the enemy of good. <laughs> and we are just gonna go. We'll go with it. You guys will have to suffer through this with me for a second. And we should also add some trees here. Uh, let's go ahead. And I, I, my default these days is just going back to this new pack and adding some young lindens. And uh, we can certainly go ahead I shouldn't do that. What is the what is the value in having all these mods if I'm not going to use them? So go to our Steam assets. I want some a medium sized tree, leafy full. One of my other favorites. Too big. Let's come along here. Just a couple of trees, and then the other way that we're going to finish this up is we're going to add trees along the road. So let's clean up our landscaping along here got some mistakes with our pavement there we go so lots of pavement and then the big thing we can't we don't have many places unless we go ahead I think we could add a planter box so we'll just come through go to all and I'm trying to think we could add a couple of these we will come through and I'm going to turn Anarchy on now. And why don't we actually drag this out? This would be something I'd expect to see at a newer development. Um, you know, they're, the requirements, <laughs> maybe not like a fence. Uh, the requirements for landscaping are definitely more stringent than they were many, many years ago, where they were basically none. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and add these. And I'll just add that right here. Of course, I've got to be able to place this. There we go. And then we will go through and add our own tree. Let's see. We'll go with something a little bit smaller. And I definitely want it to be a custom tree. Something like this. Oh, yeah. That feels good. Now, interestingly, I thought that this building had more going on the side of it. So you can see there's how do you how do you enter this build? Oh, the building's backwards. Oh shoot. <laughs> I wonder if any of these work. Oh no, 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 no. That stinks. Well, it's definitely not loading off the alley. That's <laughs> not happening. Well, you know what? I didn't see it in the chat either. So I'm gonna say that uh <laughs> Yeah, let's let's just we're gonna go with it. We're gonna add a food truck here. I like that idea. I like where your guys' heads at tonight. We're gonna we're gonna go with it. So let's see. We'll come in here and actually city park. Maybe it's in there. <laughs> we'll just add a tractor. <laughs> let's come through and add in this food truck. Why is it mad? We're gonna force you to add this. We'll, we will move it. 
can even do something more permanent that works for me too. So rotate this around. We'll just imagine that there's a door there and the back door is, it's just, it's there to, there's another, another access point. We can use our imagination. We don't need everything to be perfect. And it'll be just fine because outside of that, I like the way this looks. In fact, that, that access would probably be right in the center. So we'll spread this out a little bit and slide over. <laughs> we'll move that right here. I wonder if I have a door. That would be a prop I'd like to pick up. Let's see, door. Security door. I do have some doors. They're really gonna look weird here. No, that's not gonna work. What about this? <laughs> it's like a jail door. <laughs> right here, I don't know what this is. That, that looks terrible too. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. Let's certainly do it. Prop anarchy. Uh, you should make a hospital for university. I've been thinking about that. I've been thinking about that. I need a table there too. I agree. So let's go ahead and do that. We got some fancy tables. Those don't fit at all. <laughs> so we'll go with something. What is this? Commercial table. Ooh, this adds entertainment. I like that. Let's just place these and I'll drag it over. And I want to see what these look like. They're fine. We'll add some umbrellas or something like that. It's not perfect, but I like that it adds just a slight bit of entertainment. That is that is a unique feature. Back that up a little bit. Move this over. And I kind of wish that I hadn't added this tree here. So we are going to go down on that. Take this down a notch. And now you're starting to see that this has a sense of place. Like there's a reason for this existing. And let's grab an umbrella. And the rainbow umbrellas, if I recall correctly, do not work. Oh, is that like these? Is that a load setting? Oh, no, they do work. Oh, no, 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 those are the Ashland rainbow umbrellas, so we don't want those ones. All right, we'll get rid of those. And we will go with one of these tables. There we go. Two right there. Snag one of these at a time and just pull that right in the center. There we go. I think we've salvaged this. We've made we've made uh, lemonade out of lemons. There's no door here, but we're, we're just fine. Uh, Henry, thank you so much for becoming associate planner. And Nate Rosen, you should add neighborhoods with specific ethnicities. A small Chinatown, Little Italy would add a lot of character to the city. We're absolutely going to do that. That is uh, something I've been wanting to get to. So uh, maybe a little outline of how I see things playing out over the next little while in Clearwater County. So I want to focus on specific types of buildings. So I think one tree is wrongly placed from Cringe Herald. <laughs> is it? I, oh yeah, I guess slightly. Yes, we will fix that. Uh, there we go, I think that's better. So what I want to do is go through and think about the different types of uses that are important in a city. Right now, we have a whole bunch of residential, some state office buildings, but think about all the uses that we don't have here. We don't have, uh, we don't have department stores. We don't have grocery stores. We don't have gas stations. Uh, we don't have uh, enough hospitals. We don't have vet clinics. We don't have banks, all these different types of uses that you would expect to see in a city and we don't have them. So we're going to have to get to that and uh, make this city a more complete place. So I'm going to focus on adding those one at a time. I'm so bothered, it's horrible. Yes? What is horrible? <laughs> I, I wanted to I wanted to, uh, to uh, make it better, but apparently I have not, so I apologize. All right, and I've lost the block. I've lost the block. There we are. Uh, there's one more thing I wanna do here. So we're gonna pop into the prop line tool. We'll come through here and I want to add some trees. So let's go through here, we'll add this. We will add a prop. We are going to search for the planter. I believe that is called a, yeah. There we go. And 
obviously that's a little extreme right there. So we are going to increase the step. Maybe we'll go 10 meters or so. Feels rational and, and something that I can remember. And then we will shift this back. And I want to leave enough space so that things are accessible, but also enough that the trees don't fall in the road too much. So I think this is pretty good. And then we will add in another line here. And we are going to have a tree. And I wonder what tree. Uh, let's see, Philip Denny. Once again, I'm simply begging for more pedestrian bridges across the sunken train tracks. We will do that. <laughs> Philip, that is an excellent idea. We are absolutely going to do that. And we're just going to go with the linden. I wonder, what is that? Oh, the, the, oh, that is actually not bad. So let's take this to 10. And shift this over as well. And we'll see what we get. Wow. Yeah, I really like that. That is great. What do you guys think? Is the Linden good or not? Let's see. Justin, thank you so much for the support. I really enjoy the channel. The row homes remind me of my neighborhood. The back alleys are ubiquitous for both car uh, vehicles and pedestrians. Sadly, they're also where people put their trash. Yes, I have lived in a place just like that. My bedroom window was above the dumpster. <laughs> so definitely stinks. But absolutely charming places to live i'm sure that you really really uh, probably enjoy that neighborhood very walkable place uh, excellent place to be my dog just came out of a car yeah you know tyler you've never seen a dog drive a car <laughs> uh let's see put in some jack uh, jack is it jacaranda jacaranda is that how all right i see it i see it it's good love it good young linden supremacy <laughs> It's a tiny bit big, you know, but big trees are what you want in a neighborhood. Nobody wants the, uh, you know, the baby trees. I mean, baby trees are good, better than not having trees, but they're still baby trees. And I think ideally you want, you want the big tree. You want to create that canopy. Truthfully, that's the one thing that is, I, I should get some trees that create that canopy over a road. I think that's absolutely ideal. All right. So let's go for a planter here. And I believe I used the first one I saw. Oh, and this song does not fit at all. We're gonna, we're gonna not do that. All right, and then we went 10 meters and we wonder. I wonder if there is a better way to do this. There is. So I could come through here, copy this, come through here and paste this. And I wonder if I can do the exact same thing here with the trees. So I'll just add this here, go to tree, and I'll come here. This is my first linden tree. Copy, click here, and paste. Oh, that is so easy. That is so easy. All right. By all, by all means, you should absolutely do this. Yes, the shade does reduce the, herb, the urban heat island effect. It, it uh, soaks up rain, uh, which is absolutely essential with all of the rains that cities are getting leading to flooding. So it's, it's really important. The one thing you'd have to think about, sometimes you'll have neighborhoods that have power lines and then you're gonna wanna think about the appropriate power line for, or the appropriate tree for the power line, but we don't have that problem here. The one thing that stinks over here is we've got this other block with all of these buildings that are just kind of peeking over and that's not gonna work. We'll just temporarily move those back. Now, the big thing I wanna do, let's shrink this up. Actually, let's just close this. I want to bring this all the way around. I'm gonna use the trees as a way to symbolize to myself that I've been in this area and I've done some things. So we'll just copy this whole deal. So come up here, copy the markings from this and then come through here, Control Shift V and then apply that. Control Shift V, apply that. And we can go really fast and get this done quickly. There we go. So the one thing that we would probably wanna do, so if you've ever talked to an urban forester, they are very likely to switch the trees up mid block. Even at different trees on different sides of blocks these days, 
or at, at a bare minimum, every block have a different kind of tree. Uh, in my area, it's because of the emerald ash borer. Uh, it has come through and decimated all of the ash trees around. And it's really been devastating. You go into some of these old neighborhoods and it's just terrible. Uh, all of the trees are gone now. I feel like those trees are too close to the apartments on one side. Yeah, they are. Gotta move this back. Yeah, I think you're right about that. In fact, the solution is going to be one that some of you will love. <laughs> so here's the solution. We'll come through and we'll just change this to our young lindens. And then I will take this block, control shift C, control shift V, and it didn't like it. Interesting. <laughs> so we'll just grab this, copy, and come over here and try to paste it again. All right, there we go. We got it. And we'll do the same thing right here. I think that looks a ton better. All right. One block down, 60 or so to go. <laughs> so that's something. Uh, Oh, Michael says that you're starting to have the ash borer infestations up here in Oregon. Oh, that Oregon, Oregon, or so confused. <laughs> oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. It is it is absolutely devastating to have the ash borers. They are just terrible. Uh, but you can whoops. Oh, I don't know what I just did. You you can treat for them. It's just very expensive. So there's been a mixture of that here where that you know preserve those those really important uh, trees that uh, really matter to a community and key parks and things like that but each treating each tree is very expensive it's not a one and done thing so you know <laughs> we can't escape the linden you cannot escape the linden ever those trees look so much better the lindens the young lindens you know i think it looks better when you're in the sky i guess these are Ooh, oh, there he is walking through. You know what? I think I'm on the on the Linden is a bad street tree gang. That yeah. We're gonna fix this. Yeah, I'm I can't do it. I can't do it. So let's just go ahead, copy, and we will eliminate these. I hate to do this, but I've got to. We're gonna find a better street tree for another block. But for this one for the time being, because I want to switch over and focus on some other things for a moment. We are going to just Young Linden it up. And I think that does it for us. There we go, there we go. Young Linden's everywhere. Young Linden's all day. Uh, let's see, Control Shift B for the whole street. Oh. Yeah, okay. I've gotta try that now. Let's find a street that looks Okay, we're gonna go with this one. All right, control shift B. Do you really wanna apply the whole, uh, the marking to Concord Street? No, <laughs> I tried. <laughs> what am I doing wrong, Banana Man? I just, I just tried. Oh, so that's, that's control shift V. I wonder if now I click on it, control shift B. Do I want to apply? Ah, look at that. That was amazing. That was amazing. How far did it go? Holy cow. Banana man. That is awesome. That is awesome. That is, that is, wow. That is why I need to read. <laughs> uh, let's see. Did it go up the bridge? It did not. Did it go on the other side? It did not. That's okay though. That's okay. And let's do a couple of things. We'll, we'll, we'll get away from that for just a moment. We need some more pedestrian crossings here. I agree. We also need to control these. Right now, I'm allowing folks to drive across these. So the, and maybe I'll ask this in a poll. Uh, the only, uh, the only network that I found that looks okay going across these are the pedestrian bridges, these zonable pedestrian paved roads. So right now they do allow cars. I could ban them, but it would look, you know, uh, that would reduce connectivity. Not a problem, 
Cars don't need to be able to get everywhere as quickly as they can. They're cars, they can go forever. Oh, Banana Man, Control Shift G for only between interchange or intersections. Oh. Oh, Banana Man. Can we get a, can we get everyone to put a banana in the chat? We a huge shout out to Banana Man. Just awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Japanese beetle. Ah, uh, yeah, the Japanese beetles brutal too. Uh, so we have we have some of those, and they. Uh, so I have raspberries in my yard, and they go after those. Really bugs me. All right, so I'm gonna add in with anarchy collision off bridge, and we will add some pedestrian crossings. That is going to take out. I'm actually will undo that one because I want to make these connections all the way across. And then we'll come through and ground level these. There we go, look at the bananas. There we go, I love it. <laughs> I'm allergic, but bananas, what Bobby says. <laughs> Grapes, how dare you, how dare you. <laughs> Banana, you're awesome. Oh, uh, you're, you're uh, you know, you're one of those members of the community that uh, just, the community wouldn't be the same without you. So we, we, we all appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right, so I'm gonna put a poll up now. Ban cars on all head bridges. And we'll see what you guys think about this. I'm gonna add in these pedestrian bridges every other block. And we'll even add one under, oh no, we can't add one underneath the bridge here. So that'll be the one block that we don't. But we will do it everywhere else. So this block will get one. Everyone gets one of these. And I want to see how you guys feel. I could ban all the cars. There's a consequence of that. Uh, the other thing I could do is every few blocks, switch it up. And maybe we have, maybe I could get one of the one you roads to work. So there's a couple of reasons why I haven't done this. Oh yeah, there we go. Yes. <laughs> uh, keep service vehicles. Good idea. So one of the reasons why I I, had, I was reluctant. So I know that there were some comments in the video uh, go where, where I built this, talking about, you know, this is. I thought this is what we were trying to avoid. We could just go straight across. We've got this lovely pedestrian area where you know we could go ahead and add in a food cart, for instance. So let's say we come through here. And we have a food cart. This is a place for pedestrians. So if I add in roads that connect through here, now you, as a pedestrian, you've got to cross this. Not the end of the world. I think of the 16th Street Mall in Denver. I walk up and down there, the transit mall, pedestrian mall. You got you to cross. State Street here in Madison. There are crossings and you have to wait. It is what it is. <laughs> so maybe it's not the end of the world. I just need to calm down on it. Let's see. Mario, perfect is better than good. <laughs> Please, someone make a new flag with the young Linden on it. It's clearly the state symbol tree. And third, banana. Thank you so much, Mario. Uh, you know, I would I would certainly take a submission with the young Linden, and we could use both. Because <laughs> that, that would be amazing. All right, let's fix this. So what I think we're going to do is we will absolutely go ahead and have some of these pedestrian bridges. We are going to attempt to add a few that are uh, a few bridges that are specifically uh, geared towards automobiles, but we'll have those be, be few and far between. And then we'll come through here and I'm just getting these set up. We've got to fix all of our trees. We're going to do that at the end. We've got some interesting things happening too. Like why is this dipping down like this? I'm not sure what the deal is. Need to figure that one out though. And we'll try control H, bring that down. Still funky. And I might just, uh, maybe I've got to come over here, somewhere over here, right here. We have got one of these leveling networks and I could certainly work that in and grab either side of that control H up to one side, control H up to the other control H there we go that looks better that's much better all right so now we've got some pedestrian connections but we can do better we need a couple of road connections through here too this one I was gonna add one there's not really a good one maybe right here that would be a good connection 
and then we can have two pedestrian connections between one, two, and then one road connection here as well. That to me is pretty rational. So I think that's what we're gonna go with. We'll, we'll do that. Oh, Tyler, finally done with the design for the night. Been letting perfect be the enemy of good. Big mistake. Looking forward to four more hours of Clearwater County Live. Tyler, that is, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not one of those streamers that's able to do that. Maybe I need to get better at it. Maybe I need to get better at it. Uh, please add high fences to protect people from falling onto the tracks. Uh, you know, this is not bad. I know that the train company would probably want that. They'd probably want this thing capped if they could. Truthfully. Uh, that's always a concern. Is you know, those interactions between the trains and, and people. Um... Uh, so let's see. I want to know what this will look like if we make this a road. So we will go ahead and just upgrade a couple of these. So just there are 1U roads. And this is really the part that I don't like. You see how it's lining up there. It just kind of invites cars to drive onto this. In reality, we'd have this curb. This... In reality, what I think we would do here is actually extend this pavement level. Not the pavement itself. We keep the road look, but we would raise this up so that it feels like you're driving onto a pedestrian plaza. So you're not driving that fast. The other thing, and now I'm recalling why I didn't do this. We've got this weird hump and I don't know how to fix it. So I'm gonna try another road. We'll try a different one and see if I can get it to work. Let's just try this one. It's just a two way road without parking. And we'll see if this looks any better. Yeah, it's kind of the same deal. So I think that that little ridge, now that I think about it, might actually be coming from underneath. So if I raise this up a ways. No, it's not. See, it's not getting any better. I'm moving this up. I thought it might be because of the, the wall, like the, the, the actual tunnel but it's not helping. So let me undo all of this and try to get this back to normal level. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing this. If you guys have any ideas, let's see. Uh, don't connect the roads, just drag it under. Uh, or, man, man. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, let's see. So are you saying that I should just come through and grab these roads And just go like that. Ooh, that's that's pretty ugly. <laughs> uh, maybe if I add a node in between, let's just let's just experiment a little bit. We'll try some things. We'll add a node here. Probably not the best spot for it. Probably should have added it somewhere else. But if I get this high enough, yeah. The problem is now it looks, huh? I guess maybe if I move this node here, and let's just add another one. We'll add another node right in the center. Move this one over. I've got some ideas. We're getting closer. Put this here. We'll fix this up. I don't know what's happening here. It's mad. So hold alt, make even more craziness happen. It's gonna drive me nuts. <laughs> All right, that's close enough. I'm still not sure that we're doing this anyway. So what I'll do here then is go ahead and put these to ground level, these couple. So let's upgrade this one to ground level. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we're having some things happen now. It is very unhappy with me. Oh, I know the problem. That was a mistake. Let's go ahead, we'll grab this. And then upgrade this. Here we go. That was that was my mistake. <laughs> so I was hoping that maybe this would do the trick. It still looks bad. It looks really bad. So you and I pull this out. Now we've got those walls on the side. Yeah, nah, that's not gonna work. I think I'm gonna look at the comments for a minute and see what you guys have to say. First of all, we'll end this. I, it's a, it's clearly ban all cars on the ped bridges. 
Uh, just let a pet bridge be the crossing. <laughs> Those fences are pretty inconvenient, huh? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're very inconvenient. Uh, this is clearly perfect. I see no issue. <laughs> too many nodes, too close. Is that the problem? Ha. Huh. Well, I've got another idea. Let's just, well, let's give something a go. So we'll come across here. I'll upgrade this so that it's on a ground level. And Alice McFree, or Ace McFreeze. Hey, Phil, I really like watching the videos and watching. I really like the videos and watching when, and watching when playing. I work at Denver's uh, DOTI Public Works and get to see all the projects, the planners and engineers like you do. 16th Street Mall is just one of many. Absolutely. I know many planners in Denver, too. Denver is an amazing city. Excellent city staff there. Uh, excellent planning. The planning culture in Denver is second to none. Absolutely love it there. Uh, so let's see. Tiles could work. Maybe like, yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. So what I'm thinking is that we could come through and do something special here with our intersection marking tool. So what I will do, we come through here. I'm going to grab this decorative tile here. We'll paste this on and the, the streets with roads, I'll make them look different. So let's just add this here and then I will paste this in place. That doesn't look very good. We'll figure it out. Let's shift this over. Oh, we can shift the width. I didn't realize that. All right. So we'll bring this here. Let's modify the width. And I wonder if I just take a different pavement in general. So let's see. Uh, cobble. I'm not sure what I have in terms of pavements. I might not have many. Let's see. Probably. Oh, it's a decorative network. So I will grab in instead of a decorative network. I'll grab a. I need a decal. Maybe that'll show up under props uh, or pavement. No. Prop and let's see. There we go. All right. This is it. This is what I want to do. Let's see. Scuba Dive Danny. Hey, do you plan on making a university? I do. There will be a university somewhere right along here. We need to have, we've got way too many folks with law degrees here not to have a law school. So yeah, we were absolutely, that's something that's in the cards. Uh, we're going to build, uh, we're probably going to build all the universities here. So that, that's going to certainly be a thing. Let's see. We're going to shift this down. Oh, I'm, I'm liking this. And then we are going to increase the width or the scale generally. And then I'm just going to copy this. And oh, oh, what is that? What is that? No. It is turning into this weird L-shaped thing. So something weird is happening. Oh, the intersection. Oh, no. I was hoping I could get away with one there. Oh, that's the problem. We'll just get rid of this. So I need to fix this line. So I'll just add one right here. And we'll steal this copy and right here come through. That's what we don't want. This is the one that we do. We will paste this in, shift it over, and hopefully we can get this to look pretty darn good. Oh, I like where this is going. I really do. All right. So we're going to copy this whole deal, bring this right here. Paste. Ah, it's still. I wonder if I just rotate it around. Uh, reset. Nope. It's not gonna. Not gonna. It's not gonna do it for me. Which is unfortunate. Just have to come through and do another one right here. I'll see if I can paste this and shift this over. 
There we go. So anything that looks like this, I will use as the roads. So we will keep traffic going through here. Oh yeah, this is good. And here I've got to shift the scale. So we'll make this a little smaller. It's not perfect, but I think you guys see where I'm gearing for. I wish that I could clean this up just a little bit. I wonder if I just bring this through a little bit. This isn't perfect. I'm going to play with this and see if there's something I can do better, but I think we're moving in the direction that I want. Uh, Scuba Dive Danny, super cool. I can't wait. I love your content. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. Beautiful. Thank you. So this is going to be a lot of work. I'm probably going to do the rest of this off camera for this, but I am going to come through and, oh, you see it kind of fades away. So I could certainly adjust the distance. It's pretty good though. It's not too bad. Uh, we should also come through. Oh no. I should have removed those lights up front. If I change the lights here, I think we're going to lose our decals. But that's something that I would love to do. So I could come through. I probably have to... Yeah, come through here. Look at this street light. Get rid of the default lamp. And then place that. We're going to we're gonna let this be okay. Uh, let's see. Flip Kuzma. Any chance for ethnic blocks like Poland or China? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I, I have a lot of a Polish in me, so we're gonna we're gonna absolutely have a Polish neighborhood, <laughs> so, and Ch Chinese as well. So I, I like the idea of getting all of the different uh, building types too, getting it to look a little bit different. So we're gonna do that for sure. Let's go ahead and we will change some of our vehicle options in here. We'll restrict some vehicles and say, no car, you can't come through here, just you, uh, and no taxis. Everything else is good. Same thing here. No cars and no taxis. And then this one's gonna be fine. We'll do the same thing here. No cars, no taxis. And here, we're gonna be fine with it. We are going to extend this down though. Pull this straight back down, and I think I have my snap tools on. For whatever reason, it's not snapping, but that's fine. Now, I don't know what happened here with our pavement coloring. It's kind of weird now. Looks like I can just delete this, though. And I now, the last thing I want to do before I just, I, I kind of clean some of this, the rest of this up off camera is paste these down. So just, I that didn't work. Come through here and we are going to copy this or actually sorry this copy that copies the whole thing and now let's see if uh, banana man's trick will work so we'll paste this in accept this and control shift b apply it to davies street there we go <laughs> that's so awesome that is such an amazing trick control shift b i wonder if i just select this control shift b there we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We need another banana. Another another round of bananas. No trucks. Oh, good point. Yes. We should not have trucks there. So we have freight vehicles going through. That's honestly probably the most egregious one anyway. So let's get rid of those. This one's good. It's right here. So no trucks. No trucks. And we'll do the same thing. And then there were there was a comment a while back about paths. So we're going to check that out. So down here, I believe I left a path. Maybe I didn't. Oh, I did not. There is no way to exit here. So that was an absolutely great comment. So the, the comment was basically that there's no reason to walk on this because the path just kind of abruptly ends and there's nowhere to go. So an invisible path would take care of it, uh, as would adding just a normal path. And you can see over here, and oof, this looks like some things have happened here. We'll worry about that later. So I think this must have just happened. Looks pretty bad. I'll, 
I'll clean some of this stuff off camera. It won't be in the next Clearwater County, but it will certainly be in the next one. I'll go through and have some of the, some of the stream fixes. All right, so here, I'm gonna go ahead, add this path here, and then we'll fix it. And hopefully that little adjustment, little ability right here, will get some people walking. Okay, and these buildings are not happy with me, but uh, I can make them happy really quickly. We'll come through and just reset these. Probably not the greatest thing to do. <laughs> it just bugs me right now, we're gonna go for it. And so, look at this. This is what I wanted to point out. I don't know why, but this helicopter's been sitting here forever. I don't know if it just can't reach this building, but it is. it has demolished, burned down, and it's not rebuilding. So I'm gonna reset this, just like I just did. We'll bring it back and hopefully we don't have this problem again. Otherwise, we may need to do some things over here. I don't know exactly what I do to get this to not have that issue where it burns down, <laughs> but we'll have to see. Right there, that, go away, go away. You don't need to be there anymore. I don't know why the disaster response unit is there, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see I think you might need to slope some of those railway nodes I agree oh it's going away it's going away all right much better there we go and I was gonna follow this for just a moment while I take and read some of your comments but I'm afraid it's gonna take me near the next build which would be a problem let's see if we have slopes here yes we do need to slope some of these look at that much better and here that didn't really help I'm always confused as to whether or not it's actually good to choose between middle and Ben pre Ben alum thank you so much for the support I appreciate that thank you so much all right demo those abandoned buildings I don't want to you know I've thought about that thing is they tell you a story they tell you why there's a problem in your city this is terrible to look at why is it that bizarre color let's make it a better it's a little better um, now the abandoned buildings tell you a story so you come through and you can figure out what your problem is so my problem here is that there's not enough workers so I need more residential and until I do that, I'm going to continue to have problems. So I have thought about a way to resolve that. And the best way to resolve it, or the quickest way, not the best, is likely for me to just go ahead and take the apartment from Fairchild and just kind of spawn a couple of those and make a gigantic apartment complex. Lumpies and bumpies. <laughs> yeah, so much residential demand. Oh, all right. I'm going to build out a little, a little apartment complex with dogs, uh, dog, a dog park in the center. And then I'm going to, we're going to deviate. Yeah, I think you guys, if you guys have seen my other streams, I very rarely actually do what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> so one thing that we're going to do, we'll, uh, we're going to grab the, I'm going to try to take you guys around and not show you the build for Saturday. But I think I want to take the apartments. We are going to put a couple apartment complexes in. It'll be a, no, 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 no. We're not going to do that. Actually, I'll, I'll put up a poll. Apartment complexes or not. Either I do it now or I do it in a couple of weeks. Uh... Do you or have you thought about putting a water feature? Yes, I've thought about that. When we start developing suburban neighborhoods, we're gonna start adding water features uh, because at that point in time, we'll be thinking more about drainage and things of that nature. So there we go, Wallace Odom. My town, Charleston, South Carolina, just converted to full electric mass transit buses and reduced fares. You gave me the motivation to have a voice in the change. That is amazing. So there is so much funding available in the United States right now for electric vehicles. The bipartisan infrastructure law has a whole bunch of funding set aside for that. So if your community is buying new buses and they are not considering 
the electric buses, they are making a huge mistake because that funding is, it's right there. It's there for the taking. The, the federal government is willing to basically cover the difference right now, which is pretty outstanding. Uh, no local match required, which is always, with grant applications, that's always the consideration is if there's no local, uh, no local match. So let me take a step back. So with grants from either the state or local or, or federal government, they want skin in the game from the local community to make sure that they actually go ahead and execute the project. So most of the time from the federal government, it's at least 20% that they are looking to have the community chip in. Sometimes it's as high as 50% uh, or even 60. Just depends on what what is being what is being uh, requested what the funding is being requested for so with buses you'll often see 80 20 is what they call it funding for these sorts of things with the bipartisan infrastructure law there is a provision that allows for 100 percent funding of the difference between a diesel bus or a hybrid bus and an electric bus so there are issues with that you know we're dealing with inflation right now and if you want to see inflation have everyone and their brother try to buy an electric bus at the same time. That's a problem. But at the same time, what we're seeing is an opportunity. And that opportunity is to have a clean bus fleet at a very modest or, or no cost. That infrastructure is really the, the main, the, the, the charging infrastructure is the main cost for the community. So if your community is buying buses and not taking advantage of, of that new program, get out there and lobby them. Tell them that it's time to go green. It's time to do something different. Uh, diesel buses are not the way of the future. <laughs> so, all right. And I am way behind. Residential demand is never dropping. Yeah, it is absolutely crazy. The poll. Apartment complex build now. Yes or no? Yes, overwhelmingly has it. So I'm going to do a couple of things here to make this feel a bit more complete. We've got our dog park in the center. I like that. Let's just make sure it's facing the right Need an entry point right here. You can see there's a very blurry dog park. I love it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and we will add in a little path here. We'll turn off all of our snap twos. I have had collision off for all this time and nothing bad has happened to my knowledge. <laughs> I'm sure plenty of bad things have, have probably happened. And I, I assume that there was a door over here and that was a bad assumption. So we will get rid of that. Over here, I'll add this in. So now there's a way to get in here. And let's add in some of these paths here. And now here's where I gotta have collision off again. So as soon as I turn it on, I'm turning it off. And I almost think it would be better to go for propolis. So if you have find it, you can search for a propolis. We'll go to network and path. Huh. Oh, I don't have vanilla on. That's the problem. Okay, so now if I come over here, I have propolis path. There we go. Upgrade it. Now we don't have the benches and stuff like that showing up. So that's much better. Although it's going to be very difficult to make this look good. The reason I wanted to go with these is I figured that if I tried to go, because I deleted all that pavement, if I put this in, it's an invisible path. So that's no good. So I'm gonna undo that. Let's see if there's anything I can do to make this look better. No, I guess maybe curving it. Uh, I guess that kind of does the trick, but it looks pretty bad. So one of the things I like about detailing all these areas is that you get all of these kind of micro issues to deal with. And when you find solutions, it's so incredibly gratifying. In the meantime, it's like a puzzle. And it's kind of exciting to try to solve the puzzle. Like this looks better. It's not great. And truthfully, I might just stop all this nonsense and add in just a path going along the side and one going down the center. That's probably the best way to handle it. 
We'll just add these here. I'll upgrade to the propolis. So it'll come through. And then I'll just upgrade to remove all the props because we're gonna place those ourselves. Clean all of this up with move it. And as soon as I get this done, I'm just gonna chat for a while, respond to comments that I see in there before we move this over. So I'm gonna end the poll, we see what's going on. Maybe the hump in the ped path uh, be from no collision, maybe. Huh. I don't know though, I think that it might just be Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I think it might be that I deleted some of this stuff and I've, I've got it a little messed up now. This isn't so bad though. I think that we're moving into a, into a, into a better place. Thank you so much, The Beard Guardian, for the support for the super chat. Here we go. I'm gonna keep moving these through. I think this is fairly well centered. And once this is done, I need to have a sip of that beer that I've been drinking because I have not been drinking it. <laughs> so there we go. Let's clean this up. I'm going to add some trees through here. I want you guys in the chat. Tell me your favorite tree and let me know what I should put in here. A couple of trees through here. YouTube just auto played me. City, City Planet plays live stream. <laughs> I didn't know that it's going to auto play us. Invisible path and put down poppable concrete. Oh, Monkey fit, that is absolutely genius. Next time. Next time, that makes a ton of sense. I've actually really wanted to find some sidewalks that, uh, like a network sidewalk that is narrower than this, because this is, let's be honest, this is way too wide. And if I can make this narrower, I, you know, that would probably be ideal. Ben says, Phil, I'm finally caught up on Clearwater and Verde. Question, is it possible to put a residential building inside of a commercial to simulate mixed use? Absolutely. But there's a better way. Uh, and that would be to use, you can use, so you can do that. I don't want to give away too much. But I think with service blocks, you might be able to, to do the same thing. So if you were to have service blocks, kind of like I have here for the farms, <laughs> you would be able to place those inside of a building and then have both uses. So you could do one of either, one of two ways. So you could decide this is a residential building and I want to have commercials. So I will go ahead, grab this commercial building, put that here and then just slide this in. And now you've made a mixed use building that will function for both. Or you could use service blocks. Either one, your call, they both work. So hopefully that helps, Ben. Thank you so much for the support. All right, let's see. There is a chap saying to use node controller to make the mats, the paths thinner. You know what? I think you're right. So if we go into more options, we could stretch these. So that is a way we could come through and say 50, for instance. And I don't know if there's a, a better way to stretch this down to 50 both. Whoops, what did I do there? So yeah, this is a this is a way that you could do it too. I'm sure there's a better way than the tedium that I'm going through right now. That does look better though. But I would just, I, you know, the thing is, I would just as well find a path that just happens to be an appropriate size. Nice thing is I can delete these quickly. <laughs> so, but that is another option, that is a way to do it. Uh, Tim asks if I've ever been to Germany. We have examples of many terribly planned cities here. For example, Dortmund, the planners here don't know anything about roadway hierarchy. Well, so that's the thing. Roadway hierarchy is great if you're planning a brand new city. Uh, it also has many pitfalls. I think that it can lead to uh, building communities for cars and not people. Hierarchy is important, but it's not, it, should, it shouldn't be the be all and end all. And if your city is prioritizing that above all else, that's that's a problem. Jacaranda, we're gonna do it. So I just happened to catch that and I saw it earlier too, we're gonna do it. So here we go, we'll add one here, one here. Oh, that, yeah, I like that. So this isn't quite centered. We've gotta do something to fix that. 
So we'll just bump this over a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect, but we'll make it better. And I think I will end up being far happier with this, and I think you will as well. If not, let me know. <laughs> there we go. I think that's better. It's not gonna be the most detailed block in the world, but you don't need to put a ton of detail into everything. But you can see that we've created a sense of place here. This would be a unique place to live. So I like that. I like that. So all right, household count on, in the apartment buildings. We're gonna find that out. So let's see, Joey the Vaping Biker, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. Go check out that Clearwater County video. I will let you know there is a problem with it. I am going to re-upload it tonight. Uh, 18 minutes, 35 seconds. I I have a real weird slow motion thing <laughs> going on there. Uh, Jessica German, thank you so much for being an associate planner for two months. Yes, that's the one I love. I'm glad, I'm glad. There we go. All right, so I'm going to try to meander my way around the county without showing you the next build. So let's see. Enjoy all of this. Maybe we can see Belmont. Let's see. Oh, there we go. All right. So what I want to do, I haven't been over here in so long. How are we doing in Fairchild? A little bit of death, but I don't see any abandoned buildings. Wow. One. You know what? Things are looking pretty good up here. Things are looking... What is this? Oh, that was just the empty spot for the church. That's right. That's the thing that we were missing uh, in Van Buren. So, yes, we're, we're certainly looking good up here. I miss this, this community. I had a lot of fun building this, and we're going to need to take some of these lessons and move them down to Van Buren. But the thing that we're going to start with is this apartment complex. We're going to add in a few of these. So what we're going to do is just copy this thing and kind of paste it like three or four times. So let's see. They're right here, 70 households, 70 more here, so up to 140, 37, and 37. So, you know, we're going to be adding significant population very, very rapidly. So what I'm going to do is just come through and we're just going to copy this. There we go. I think I got everything. And then we will duplicate in place. And now we're going to come the long way <laughs> to get back to Van Buren. Welcome back to Ashland. That's not where we were. So we're good. We're over here. All right. So for this, I've actually practiced this a number of times. We're going to come over here at this road. And this is one of our last planning roads anyway. This is the exact kind of place I would expect to see a whole bunch of multifamily on the outskirts, kind of in a low value area if we were to take a look at our land values. Absolutely not a high land value area. This land would be basically free. And it wouldn't be the very best location for this. And the planners would be very disappointed that this is where they are proposed for, but this is absolutely a use that is necessary and the planners are gonna take it. They're gonna say, you know what, it's fine. The, uh, I'm guessing that the local elected officials would see this and go, you know what? Uh, there are lots of folks who hate multifamily who are absolutely nimbies, and this is acceptable to them because no one is around. <laughs> so we're going to add this in. There we go. So this is, this is a lot of households. We're going to pause it for just a moment. And I'm going to take a sip of my drink. And I want to see what you guys are thinking about this. Is this a bad idea? Is this a good idea? And uh, let me see what you guys have to say. Let's see. Uh, over Real Tech Entertainment. Finally caught a live stream. Glad that you're here. Let's see. Redundant Inc. Any plans for public transportation infrastructure? Yes. Uh, so... Someone has commissioned a tram and a number of folks, and we're gonna add that in, uh, really beef up the tram network. I've gone back and forth on the tram and uh, how important it should be in Van Buren. We're gonna have that. We're also going to have buses. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna do a lot. Just gotta integrate, yes. Gotta integrate this, square them up. So I purposely offset them to get these roads to line up. I'm gonna take these fences out. 
and I will see if I can square them up at all. We've got a number of buildings in here to remove as well. Uh, if you recall, we've got clubhouses through here and pools that are now side by side. If we're gonna have two pools, we, we shouldn't. <laughs> we shouldn't. What we'll do is we'll actually just get rid of these and pull these buildings closer. And let's see, maybe connect them up and make it look like one complex. That is the absolute plan, uh, Xanto. Let's see, Brazilian with internet access, it needs better planning. What needs better planning? I'm, a, I'm, I'm jumping in the mid conversation. Uh, can we please have an intranode building from office space, James asks? Maybe. <laughs> you find me an asset, you drop it in the comments and you never know, you just never know. Looks bad, yeah, everything looks bad to start out with and we're gonna make it look better. Uh, let's see, Demo has to leave for a violin lesson. Bye, I will put this up and good luck with your violin lessons. That should be, uh, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, I actually have uh, in my office a painting of a violin. Not because I play it, but because my mom painted it. And uh, it means a lot to me. So it's the very centerpiece of my office. It's, it's kind, of a, kind of a weird thing for somebody who doesn't play violin. Let's see, I missed your last super chat, Eli. Uh, please give it a read. Where is it? Let me see. I'm looking, it's not showing it for me. Uh, we have to get some weeping willow trees. Yes, yes, Eli, I will get some weeping willow trees. And I missed spider dice as well. You're so amazing, CPP. Your videos give me joy. Thank you so much, spider dice, for being a planner for three months. And I apologize that I missed those messages. Sometimes I just get, I get into the weeds and I get super into what I'm doing and I, I'm, I'm, I'm bad at streaming. I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying my best. <laughs> well, I'll just have to keep improving. That's, that's what life is all about anyway. Just improving day by day. All right, so I think we're pretty close here to being able to straighten this up, connect these up. And what we're gonna do, so I will just grab these these obviously are not squared up very well. I wish I would have held art alt. I did not. And that was a mistake. I also see that we've got some things here. I'll use better bulldozer. Try to eliminate those. This is fascinating to me. It is holding this together. All right. So I'm going to try to move this to be a little bit closer and then do my best to square this up. That's pretty good. And then what I'm gonna do is go into the unified UI and we are gonna do a union. So I will grab this and this, it should pull it right up and now those are connected. So now that is one complex. We're gonna do the same thing all the way around here. So we've got a number of places to do that. So we'll have trees to remove. So maybe this isn't the most efficient way of doing this. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? We're going with it anyway. We're going with it anyway. So I can do this in a number of places. So I can, we'll just, I'm gonna scoot this over. And, ah, I was worried about this. Got some nodes right there that we didn't grab. I think now we're good enough. I'm gonna pull these right up tight to this. And what I'm hoping I can do is union the parking lots and this road. So I will come through and just union those. Ah, didn't work, didn't work. There we go. And obviously we've got a couple of things to fix up there, but looking okay. There too, truthfully, we could probably use some crossroads to, nah, I think it's fine. So you're starting to see where I'm going with this. Uh, Banana needs a place in Clearwater County named after him. That's true. We've got a place for Banana in Verde Beach, but no place. Oh, Banana says no. <laughs> uh, are we making a Nannerville? You never know. That's, that's what Batch asks. Uh, greetings from Uruguay. Uh, your work for the city is amazing. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Banana, Bananaville, Banana Town. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I help design these multifamily homes for a living. This layout is depressingly realistic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I, unfortunately, with these sorts of complexes, 
you're trying to build housing in mass and do that as cheaply as possible. So you're going to find one, basically one layout that you can just kind of paste all over the place uh, for, for whatever the case. So what we're going to do, we are going to change these parks up at a bare minimum. We'll keep the two, uh, the, the two rental offices. I think that's fine. And I'm going to scoot this one in. We will get rid of, we'll, 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 what we'll do is we'll, we'll remove this. I'll move this to the outside. So we will have two pools. I think that's fine. And then here we'll add a dog park. So I think it'll be a good, a good solution for us. And then we'll need to look at the details and make sure that everything fits the way that it's supposed to. So here I will pull this in. And you can kind of see when things are lining up because we've got all these different nodes now that demonstrate whether things are lining up or not. So right here's one. Here is another. And there's one as well. And we are going to have another road coming off the back end. So this would, I'm sure that this developer would lobby for this to be a private road. And as the city, we're gonna say, absolutely not. This has to be a public road. And we are gonna actually build a collector right off the bat. And I'm gonna switch the song because that is obnoxious. <laughs> so let's see, we'll go with a two unit, three lane plus, and we have this right here. And we'll just run this down. And truthfully, I could see this going down both sides for better or for worse. So we are gonna run that down this side as well. So I'm gonna upgrade this one and then just delete the rest of this. And then I'm gonna get this running and we'll just let this go while we finish, in the, uh, finish off the details. Ooh, that is no good. So that connection did not work for me. We will get that fixed. So let's just delete that and run this down. Of course, we've got that node there now that the game is going to be in love with. <laughs> so I'll need to either move that or eliminate that node. Just go with eliminating it. And then we will connect this down. So let's see, Bananarama, <laughs> Las Banana. Holy cow, 1,500 of you are out there with me right now. Holy cow. Uh, this stream revolves around Banana. Tonight it does. Banana's done a lot for the stream and for the community. And for that, we appreciate Banana. So this, to me, feels about as suburban as it could get. Just collectors surrounding an apartment complex. Depressingly, depressingly suburban. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the absolute worst models of suburban development. And that's what we're doing right now. But it happens. Okay. So there we go. More or less. Not exactly perfect. But we can fix that easily. There we... Uh, I, I can never get this to be absolutely right. There we go. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to add some water pipes underneath the road, right where they belong. And we will add the power pipe, the power lines right after, not the power pipes. So my guess is we would have a main coming all the way around here. And then there'd be private pipes going throughout the development. Not something that you can have through here, obviously, but in the game, but it's, it's fine. So have that. And I will I wonder, can I just... Ooh, that's no good. It's, we'll call that good enough. And then we need our power. So for this, we have a power line that was over here. I'm gonna just steal this one. I believe this is a suburban power line. The thing I like about this is it actually creates uh, a power field around it, if you will. And that's gonna help us because then we don't need to connect this all the way up. So with this, I'm going to, I wish I could turn off all of my snap twos. There we go. And we're gonna run this down the road. 
and that's close enough but we're going to come all the way down we'll end it right here and then i'll turn around so we can't see what i built for saturday <laughs> so there we go and this should be running now let's see how we're doing and i'm curious we should take a look at our water oh because we're on the edge of water sewage and electric availability and garbage processing so these are all thing, things that we need to take care of uh stone cliff thank you so much for the support finally able to catch a live stream fan in norway i appreciate that really really appreciate that so thank you for the support and thank you for being here let's see grant geography masters in planning that is correct uh what is the name of the last song tim asks uh here it is <laughs> Uh, so well, I'm just gonna move forward from that one. That one feels very Verde Beach and not very, not very Clearwater County. So I decided to move on. Uh, Susan, thank you so much for being here. Serendipity, indeed. Thank you so much. So here we go. Let's see what this has done to our population. We are still under 55. Do we have people filling in here? 24. It still hasn't done anything to our population here. So I'm guessing this will fill in over time. 44 out of 70. One. Oh, this is something I actually meant to handle on this stream. So we've got a ton. GeoGuessr. Yes, we need it. Ah. Geo. GeoGuessr stream. Would you enjoy that? So let's see, I'll ask the community that question. You guys will ask, you, you guys can answer that. Um, Cause that is something I thought about, GeoGuessr stream. Lots of fun, I'm really bad at it, so. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go through realistic population cause we got a couple of these that are just not right. And I don't know, let's see, we'll come through here and I, I don't know why it's telling me that this is one. But I can come in here. Huh. Oh, yes. Overwhelming yes on GeoGuessr. That is, wow, that is crazy. I, didn't, I did not know it was going to be that popular. That is awesome. <laughs> uh, Jackaroo Sundown, thank you so much. I appreciate that. CPB definitely should play GeoGuessr because why not? I, I agree. Why not? You can help me. I would need the help. But with our combined locations and knowledge, I bet you we can get most of these. I just, and then, then we're relying on me being a good listener though. <laughs> That's the thing. As a YouTuber, I don't have to be a good listener because I'm just making videos by myself. Uh, it's in the comments where I have to be the good listener. I try my best. I feel like... I guess I haven't really uh, explained to you guys what's been going on with me lately, but I could I could let you guys in on that a little bit. Um, we did have I had to I had to switch editors, which was unfortunate, um, it just didn't work out. But we have a new editor on board. You might have seen that in the in the uh, the video. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I guess yesterday. <laughs> uh, there's a new editor. Uh, and I've had a lot of night meetings. So I've been editing most of the videos for a while now. And if you look at the end credits, you'll see that it's been City Planner editing a lot of videos. So as a result of that, I've been responding to fewer comments, even though I've been reading them, just like I always do. Uh, but I've been responding to fewer. I've been on the Discord less. And thankfully, we're almost past that. I've got a vacation coming up uh, starting tomorrow. And then after that, I think I'm going to be in a pretty normal place. I'm pretty excited about that. All right, GeoGuessr definitely has to happen at some point. Clearly, uh, there's some excitement behind that. Although I, I see only 383 votes, and there's 1,500 of you on here, so could we uh, could we get a few more people? So yeah, very very interested in, in, in hearing from all of you. All right, so we're gonna change the population here, and I'm gonna override it. So it was gonna be 30. I think it was 37 before. I don't know why it's not giving us 37 now, but we'll just add that in there and apply that, do the exact same thing. Oh, I guess it grabbed it now for all of these. So that is much better. Though I'd love to D 
detail this in a huge way, I think I'm going to, now that I remembered that I need to go ahead and check all the populations, uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go and do some of that. Um, your editing was great. Thank you so much. I actually love editing. If I had all the time in the world to edit, uh, I would. It's it's something that I think as a YouTuber, it helps you tell your story better if you uh, if you edit yourself uh, at times. Uh, if you don't edit yourself, you need to be expert at telling your editor the story that you're trying to tell. So luckily, I've I've, I've been good. The editors I've had have always been really really good at understanding what I'm looking for and and talking about uh, talking with me about questions that they have. So um, very appreciative of that. So I'm gonna go through and just kind of click on some of these buildings and you can see already like one household here. This is half of our problem. Realistic population is failing us, failing us terribly. So I do not know why this, it believes that this is one household. Let's see, empty area 39. So it's saying that each floor has zero homes. There's five floors, one household. That is bizarre. So let's say I go to vanilla. That gives me three. And if I go to European apartments older, I get five, which is probably still not reasonable, but it's much closer. Um, let's see, what computer am I using? Uh, I'm using a computer that I built custom. Uh, so all of the parts are actually in the video description. Um, I also have an Apex gaming computer uh, that I, I have as well, and I have a um, Mac, uh, a 14-inch MacBook Pro that I edit on when I do my editing. Uh, it's my main computer for you know browsing the internet and doing all of that. I absolutely love uh, Apple products, so as far as using them, so I use that for editing. Uh, it's the M1 Max, 14-inch, uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, so I'm going to end the poll. 517 of you say that we should do a GeoGuessr stream. We've got to do that at some point. So very into that. Uh, how is vanilla better than realistic population? I wouldn't say that it is. I, I think that it's just different. So realistic population, the advantage is you end up building more residential, which is what a city is really like. There's a ton more residential uh, by square footage, by, you know, just generally than anything else. And the pandemic has only exacerbated that. And uh, Amazon and all of the, you know, the online uh, shopping has, has really changed the way that cities are, are, are built and developed. So as a result of that, there's just a lot less, a lot less residential or a lot less uh, commercial and, and office space. So you'd see, you expect to see more residential like you see when you have realistic population enabled. So that is the advantage there. So maybe I need to figure out what is going wrong with this. Because right now it's saying each floor has one housing unit, which isn't right. Like this, you can kind of see if we let's just say we take a look at this. So I'm going to count how many households I think would be in here. So I'd say we'll say one on each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Counting with Phil, 20. And the back side. I'd say that this is one more, so 30. So I would say that this is probably 30 households, maybe a few less, uh, but that is what I would what I would think. So I see a question. Where did I go to school for planning? I went to Denver. So uh, when I was going to school, or when I was looking at schools, I wanted to go to a school that was less heavy on theory. And uh, Madison has a very, very, very strong uh, emphasis in, you know, planning theory and in, uh, um, I guess, more of the, the legal side of planning and things of that nature, which is uh, really great, but I had that in undergrad. So I wanted to go and learn some design software and things of that nature, and Denver provided that opportunity. So that is what I, I, I that's where I decided to go and do not regret it. Do not regret it. I think it's taught me a lot. Funny thing is, I think that some of the skills I learned in Denver have translated into YouTube, uh, like graphic design skills and you know, the ability to use software like that. All all things that I picked up in uh, in grad school. So kind of fun. 
Let's see. Pick a couple more questions. See, single family homes in Van Buren. We're going to have single family homes in Van Buren, but right now, uh, I mean, first of all, got to remember this is Van Buren too. So there's some, not many, but we are going to, the game plan, Van Buren's going to go all the way to here and potentially beyond that. Van Buren is massive, so it's going to be absolutely huge in terms of uh, space. Harzo, gotta go. Thank you so much for coming and jumping on here. Appreciate you. Uh, I say 25, 20 to 30. I think we went 25, and I think that's that's pretty good. Uh, first time watching, says Tom Bennett. Live in England. Interesting to hear the differences, the differences between US and UK development. Absolutely. So for the, for the I put together uh, that video looking at Letchworth Garden City. And I wanted to look at different plans for different cities in the UK. And it is just such a different world. Uh, zoning, like I they couldn't find zoning map, couldn't find uh, existing land use map. It was pretty fascinating for me to look, uh, look at those, uh, look at the differences in planning there. Uh, so here, I'm gonna say that each of these, let's see, let's say two, four, eight, seems like a, a reasonable number here. Uh, so we're gonna certainly go with that. Uh, Tobias, fellow UK, are here. It's really interesting. When you watch the series from Tutorial to Verita Beach to here to Clearwater County Modded, yes. And I, uh, it's funny. I'm, I'm kind of curious. I'm gonna ask another poll. Which is, which has been your favorite series? Because I'm, I'm curious. As I think about what comes next, I want to. Oh, let's see. This channel is not active. Can you make a collection for all the assets in Clearwater County? So there are multiple collections. I've got to clean it up. I did. I think I did a pretty bad job, truthfully, of, of organizing it. The one-click collection is okay. Uh, the intention, because that was so big, uh, I had to split it into two lists. Um, was not to update that one, but to add on to it. And I think that I could have done a better job of, of keeping up with that. So I will come, I, I will make a promise to attempt to clean some of that up at some point, but there are many, uh, there are many a a asset collections out there if you look at uh, in the Steam Workshop. Most of, most of the assets are in there. It's some of the newer ones that I haven't kept up with. So let's go ahead, favorite series. And we're gonna add a few options. So the first one, I don't think anyone's gonna go with that one. <laughs> Uh, I feel like my door almost opened, which means I have a child running it. <laughs> uh, Clearwater County, Victoria. So here we go. And let's see. Verde Beach Bicentennial for the 100th episode. Got something else planned. I think you're gonna like it. We're gonna we're gonna see. Uh, I think Few Candy actually does a quasi-authentic uh, version of a more U UK style build. Yeah, and, and so that's something that I, I really appreciate. You see that certain builders uh, really do a lot of builds that replicate where they're from. And for me, that's always been something that uh, I, I guess is kind of... I, I like to build places that I've, I've lived in. So... Obviously, there's there's only so much of that I can do, but um, I think it makes your places more authentic. So that's something that I, I guess I really appreciate about Few Candy. Uh, uh, I really really enjoyed Biffa's UK build that he's been putting together. I don't know if he's still here or not. It's late, <laughs> but I've really enjoyed that. And I just love when people make places that are familiar to them. Uh, but it's not just that. I mean, there are some creators that are just amazing at making places that are totally foreign to them. Uh, so uh, Overcharge Eggs uh, ILO series is it, just been, it's been absolutely amazing. So uh, yeah, this is a super biased poll. We're in Clearwater County. <laughs> so <laughs> that is a good point. Uh, Gwyneth, I would love Verde 2 with mods. Yeah, so what I've been thinking for the, for the series after Verde Beach would be one of two things. I do have an Xbox Series S I thought about doing a short series where I give that a go, where I try my best 
to build on an Xbox and we'll see where that goes. I do have Xbox Game Pass and City Skylines on that, so we could give that a shot. Uh, secondly, would be a vanilla plus build. Uh, because there are just a couple of things that if it were available in vanilla so i want i don't want to do something that you could basically do in vanilla but it would be easier because i have a core set of of, of mods a couple like like rico that just make things just make it so you could control things a little bit more um and then like you know building themes would probably be the big thing uh and move it a couple of mods like that Yes, Ian, after Verde Beach. I'm, I'm, Verde Beach is here for a long time. Oh, Verde Beach deserves, or Verde Bluffs deserves better. <laughs> uh, yeah, Verde Beach is going to be around for a while longer. Uh, but uh, I have been thinking about what I want to do with Thursday. And I've tried a couple of things. You know, I think that you guys all, uh, you've seen some of the things that I've, I've been trying. The, um, the Urbeck video. I've got another uh, game I'm going to be putting out probably this next Thursday. Um, this stream is a Thursday experiment because I can I can put up the, the VOD on Thursday. So I just wanna know uh, what works and part of that might just be having another series going on. Um, that said, I've really appreciated being able to just experiment on Thursdays too. The Steam Deck video was a lot of fun for me to put together. And what I've just been doing on Thursday is just just doing things that are fun for me, <laughs> just truthfully. So I hope that you guys have, have enjoyed that. Uh, it's I know that it's it's different. Every every Thursday has been different. <laughs> Let's see. Ochoa J, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. And Jack Hader, Verde Beach is great because of how accessible it is for folks without mods. Clearwater County is very heavily modded, so it'd be like it'd be fun to see a lightly modded one. Yes, that is what I what I'm thinking. Uh, Alex asks if I'm going to have merch. I do have merch. I would encourage you. This is probably not the greatest thing for a creator to say. I would encourage you to wait. <laughs> Don't buy the merch yet. I've got a couple of new things that I'm going to be putting up there. And I'm looking at new vendors um, to see if I could get some embroidered products, things of that nature. So we will we will see. Uh, Brian asks about Timberborn. I have certainly been considering Timberborn. The funny thing about Timberborn is... Uh, I think people either love or hate it. The most disliked videos on the channel have been, number one, the last Urbeck video was the most disliked video by far. It actually beat out um, the previous April Fool's video, <laughs> which was surprising, a little sad for me, but <laughs> what are you gonna do? Uh, but then the Timberborn videos have been right up there, but I love Timberborn. I've just been playing it on my own. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not, it's not as though I'm not playing it. So I, 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 but I see you guys and I will, another will come at some point. Uh, let's see. Mario says, check out a map called Santos. It's a beach in Brazil close to Serra do Mar. So rainforest, it'd be cool to have a modded, uh, have it modded with Verde Beach vibes. That would be cool. That would be cool. So I will definitely check that out. Thank you so much for your support, Mario. And I see... Oh, Gwyneth, thank you so much for gifting all of 20, 20 memberships. Thank you so much. It's so super generous of you. I appreciate that. Awesome. Uh, so, thank you for saying my username correctly. I tried. <laughs> Did I? Oh, I see that. I see the, uh, the cringe face. I don't know if that's, uh, that's a, if I actually got it right or not. Ochoa J, did I actually get it right? Or are you just being nice? <laughs> I, I have a name that people often mispronounce. Philip, obviously. <laughs> uh, Ur what Urbeck was it was amazing. It's super fun. I agree. Yeah, I uh, I was a little surprised. I thought the, the the second I thought people were gonna like it more, but it just uh, you know, you, you know, I, the the interesting thing about YouTube is I never really know <laughs> what people think until I put a video out. That's what kind of tells me what's going on. Uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16. We will realistic population this one to 16. So yeah, uh, and I'm joking, the April Fool's video was amazing. I thought it was fun. I actually was a bit horrified after I put the April Fool's video out because I put it up there and it went off. It went off. You guys had been waiting to, to see the Capitol get built. And I look and it's the number one video that I've released in a year that video and 
As I'm seeing it go off, I'm thinking to myself, oh my goodness, do I need to end this joke? Do I need to get rid of the video? <laughs> like, why is it absolutely going off like this? And it was funny. Initially, it seemed split like 40, 60 as to whether people knew that it was a joke or not. And there were some people who were like, yeah, this is weird, but you know, I'm into it. <laughs> <laughs> then there were other people who were like, "Oh my goodness, he got me again." <laughs> so it was a, it was a, it was a lot of fun. I see questions about claiming gifts. This is a YouTube thing. You have to have it enabled. There's a setting, and I, I, I will be completely honest with you. I am not. I have not set it up myself. But you can accept gifts. There's a setting that you have to have to accept. And uh, so if you've done that, so it, it, you can actually end up in a situation where you gift 20 memberships. And if not, if 20 people in here have not put that option on, it will hold them until they do. So make sure that you're looking at your chat and enabling uh, the gifts. So yeah, Ryan says that uh, I didn't realize it was an April Fool's video at first. <laughs> yes, uh, Eli Young Linden for the Superior State Tree, also Clearwater County. Awesome. Yes, there are a lot of people here who enjoy Clearwater County. Makes sense. You are here for Clearwater County right now, after all. So I've just been going through and just slowly clicking on these and changing the population. They're all wrong. Here again, they're saying it's three. I think this one is probably at a minimum. What do you guys think for this? I would think maybe it's a, there's three doors actually. So it's three. <laughs> yeah, there's three doors. So maybe this actually, or, or actually, Maybe it's six. I'm gonna go with six. That's what I think we're gonna do. Uh, I feel bad for Verde Beach not being the most voted. My favorite series of all time. You know what? I will I will do a Verde stream soon and I will ask this exact same question. Uh, Bluffside Crossing forever. <laughs> you know, Bluffside was interesting. Uh, because no one was watching in the beginning, it was just me having fun in my basement, uh, just kind of hanging out, learning how to record videos. I did a poor job of planning some things. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> but I felt like I could have done a better job. And at a certain point in time in that series, I felt trapped. I don't know if you felt that way in a city where you maybe just, you did a couple of things improperly and you felt like, you felt like there was no returning from it. And that's kind of where I felt like I got. And as I learned how to, you know, my, my, my main goal when I started Bluffside Crossing was just to learn how to edit videos. And I felt like it's such a, a powerful medium to be able to edit a video, create a video, tell a story uh, visually. I mean, that's where we're going as a, as a world, being able to tell your stories in a visual way with technology. And when I started to figure some of that out, part of that process for me was learning that I am simply not a Premiere guy. I once I once I finally gave up on Premiere and moved over to uh, moved over to Final Cut, everything just like opened up for me. It just it just clicked. It made sense to me. Uh, after that, I I figured I could do more and do better. So. City planner planned poorly, not clickbait. <laughs> no, that that is an excellent. <laughs> City planner plans poorly. <laughs> uh, let's see. Michael asks, uh, uh, "City planner plays Civ Six would be quite the change up." <sighs> I really want to like Civ Six, but I just don't. I've bought I bought Civ Six. I got there was a sale, and I picked up all of the expansions, and I just don't like it. I don't know. I, I, I don't know how you guys feel, but I, I, I actually have a, a, a serious question here for you guys. Grant is leaving. Goodbye, Grant. Have a good night. Thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, serious question. Which sieve is better? Five or six? Or one through four? So I worked on sieve four. I worked on Civ 4 uh, Colonization, I worked on Civ Rev, and I worked a bit on Civ 5, and I, they, I, that did not make me sick of it. 
It was an absolutely amazing experience. The people who develop Civ, uh, Sid Meier's and, and crew, absolute wizards. Such a fun game. Uh, I'll never get tired of it. That said, Civ 6 just didn't do it for me. And I just, the, I, a couple weeks ago, I thought, I'm just gonna force myself to like this. And uh, <laughs> Pesky Page has never played Civ. Don't play Civ if you haven't already. It will destroy your time. All that it does is just, you end up one more turn, one more turn, one more turn. I actually have a one more turn shirt that I wear around uh, because I get so addicted to it. <laughs> so if you ever wonder if I start missing uploads, uh, it's probably because, and if I disappear, it's probably because I've started playing Civ and you guys have lost me to civilization. <laughs> Civ 3, I've actually never played Civ 3. Um, Civ, I also have on my, on my iPad, I have uh, Civ, uh, Civ Rev 2, I believe, or something like that. Uh, Civ 4 Beyond the Sword, absolutely awesome. Those stacks of death, though. <laughs> uh, Civ 5. I hope I didn't influence that, and you guys actually just think it's the very best version of Civ, because it is. <laughs> Adventures of Two-Wheeled two, two -wheel Tim. Just got home from work and, uh, work and may have missed it. What are you drinking tonight, Phil? I'm having a Central Waters Crew Drive. It is absolutely delicious. Uh, it is from Amherst, Wisconsin. Small town, just east of Stevens Point, I believe. So absolutely awesome. Civ 1 was a huge experience back then. I, I, I could see that. I could see that. Civ 6 is only good with the Civ 5 graphical mods. Yeah, I don't like the Civ 6 visual presentation. I don't like the gameplay. I know you get to, you get to plan a plan a city I don't it's just so the micromanagement that I liked in Civ 5 got removed I liked the way that workers worked uh, I liked building my roads in just like the right place I know surprise <laughs> and uh, they took that away and now you're doing it with trade routes which okay maybe it's fine for someone but that someone is not me and then there's all of this micromanagement and then civs that aren't actually aggressive or, or like that shouldn't be aggressive getting super aggressive with me um, I played on a map where I want to say it was Norway decided that immediately they hate me they are going to spread their cities everywhere and uh, they're going to attack me relentlessly the entire game no matter what <laughs> and it just felt so foreign and bizarre. I couldn't get into the game. Um, even when they liked me a little bit, it, it was just still terrible. Just didn't like it. Civ 5 wins. You guys know, you guys are in the know. There's only 300 people that voted out of the 1,400 here, but that's good enough for me. I like that. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna record that as is. <laughs> uh, and someone is, wasn't it? Uh, Roger Fox, thank you for becoming an associate planner. Uh, I should play Afterlife. It's abandoned wear, but at this point, you can build your own heaven and hell. It was so, you were so addicted to do it when you were a kid. Maybe, maybe I'll have to I'll have to find that. So yeah, Democracy three and four. I I have one of them, and I couldn't get into it either. I have not played Crusader Kings. Any of them? I should though. Um, maybe I should collab with Biff again. Maybe I should. <laughs> We, I do have I do have a collab going on with with uh, with Lee right now Lee Hawkins and he has done some work it'll be coming out sometime we'll see when we'll see when we've got it's summer and summer's a, a challenge I know for me right now I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with it and he's got some things he's doing too so when he's ready it will come out and it's gonna be really exciting and I will I'm always looking for collaborations uh, the challenge with collaborations, and me in particular, is that because I have the planning work going on, I go in waves where I am so busy uh, professionally that I just don't have, I, I, I don't want to take on any more than I already am for the fear that I disappoint somebody. I always like to under promise and over deliver. And if I can't do that, I will immediately turn down a collaboration. I've turned it down. Uh, a number of collaborations just because of time uh, so and and part of that is learning from experience there have been some that I've accepted and immediately regretted <laughs> just 
Just not because I thought the collaboration was bad, uh, but because I felt like I couldn't deliver uh, in the way that I'd like to. If I'm not giving it 150% every time, it's not, uh, in my mind, it's not something I should be doing. So, now you kind of know where I'm at there. So Tropico 5, yes, I have Tropico 5, Tropico 6, although if Tropico 6, I believe, uh, where is it? Is it Tropico 6? What? Am I just, yeah I, yeah, I have Tropico 6, I believe, yeah, it's in the Epic, Epic Game Library. Yes, hey, it's Lee! <laughs> uh, so do any of my coworkers know or watch my stream? None that I... None that have told me, but one that I think does. And uh, it's one of those things where I think I think we get it. <laughs> you know, like, we're, we're just not going to talk about it, but we, we both know. It's fine. It's fine. I like it better that way. <laughs> I like it better that we're not talking about it because then it doesn't have to get awkward and weird. So, uh, Have I ever used a walking... Well, have I ever used the A tour walk bus routes in a city? I don't know what you mean, Dem Wolf. Uh, maybe a short series with your kids if you're comfortable. That could be funny. I have thought about that. So I played City Skylines with my oldest daughter, and I put a picture up of it uh, a while back, and it she really had fun with it. So I've thought about that. I think that truthfully they they'd rather have me play Minecraft though. <laughs> so. Uh, that's the game. Whenever I play anything with them, it's always Minecraft. And uh, I play the uncool version of Minecraft. So that's why it, it'll probably never be on the channel. <laughs> so, um, would I ever be able to quit my job if YouTube got sustainable enough? I've thought about that. And I don't know. The thing is, having a, a family... Um, like I said, I don't always understand the algorithm. So if I understood it, maybe. <laughs> the problem is I don't always. And that's a problem for me. So the last thing I want to do would be to leave my stable career that I've built over a number of years only to end up in a situation where I desperately need a job because my family needs the support. So... Um, right now, not in the cards. You never know in the future. I would never say never, but uh, not right now. Not right now. Uh, City Planner plays Minecraft poorly. <laughs> so maybe this is just my age. I don't, I don't know what you're supposed to do in Minecraft. I go around. So we usually play in survival mode. We build a base, and that's about as far as we ever get. And they want to start over. <laughs> so. That's about as far as I get. Uh, Jeremy says, sorry, Phil, gotta sleep. It's late here in Europe, good night. I know, I know. Have a good night. Thank you so much for being here. And I apologize for the time we are gonna do, we're gonna do better. Beware the algorithm, yes. Don't quit my job. <laughs> I don't know if that's a if that's a compliment or, uh, or not. <laughs> you can't quit my job, my guy. That's why you're city planner. That is incorrect, actually. I will always be city planner. It is, uh, it is my degree, <laughs> so, but yes, that's right. I would not be a practicing city planner if that were the case. Let's see, plan a village in Minecraft. I could, I could. So there's also a, a kind of city building mod. I don't know if it's any good or not. Not a mod, but a, uh, I don't even know what you call it. That's how good I am with Minecraft. Hi from Greece. Hi, John. Thank you so much for joining us. It's super late there. I appreciate you. Uh, see, which, uh, what are my job title responsibilities? Uh, planner and very, <laughs> I, I do a whole bunch. Uh, and then Jen says, I hate to give Google that much control. They know, and, uh, they know and do enough. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, so for anyone who is a full-time creator, you are beholden to the algorithm. And if you for whatever reason, do something that upsets the algorithm, you can lose your livelihood. 
And I've seen it happen with other creators, and that's certainly a concern of mine. So if I were to go full-time, that would be something that could happen. And that is terrifying as, as, a, as a parent. Um, that said, there are also things that I could, that I would really love to be able to do that I just simply do not have the time to do. Uh, and at certain times, you know, YouTube can be, can be, can, can take a lot of time. So, you know, I'm, I'm a realist. There's, you know, pros and cons to each. So I'm going to, I'm going to try this. I'm going to put in this bigger road here and then I could put in some parking along the back side of the building. And, oh yeah, that's good. So I wonder if angled would be even better. If I add in some angled parking, I don't know. I guess I don't have any. <laughs> so I won't be doing that. And there we go. That's good. I like that. That's a good improvement for in between this building. And then we'll add some trees. We'll go with our young linden, because that's what we're doing today. And then we'll add some pavement as well to clean some of this up back here. There we go. Let's see, which SimCity was the best? I think... <laughs> I can't believe you put 2013 as an option, Zeke. <laughs> it was four. I mean, the, the regional aspect of it was aw absolutely awesome. Uh, speaking of the algorithm, Philip says to make sure you like the video. And I agree. And it is Philip with two L's. I apologize for the ad <laughs> the, other, the other day. So there we go. All right. First time catching a stream, says Pelly Wall. Uh, and I was wondering if you ever tried to build a canyon or bowl city. I have, n I have not. I mean, I think Bluffside Crossing was probably the closest that came to that, but that would be a lot of fun. Planner Duck, I'm back after some good mental damage, <laughs> brain mush feeling after work. Kicking back with a Cal California Pale Ale from Vent Ventura Coast Brewing. Also, Clearwater County is calling for mid block. Uh, Paseos, yes, that, yes, that would be awesome. That would be absolutely awesome. And I have not had a Ventura Coast, but the next time I get out to California, which I hope is sooner rather than later, I've been bugging a friend about it, I will make sure I have one. I'm having a Central Waters Crew Drive, uh, crew drive which is a, uh, it's a lager. And mine is almost full, so I'm going to have a quick sip of this. Ah, much better. So I think I'm going to stand for a little bit longer. But then I absolutely must help my wife put the kids down for bed. It's 8 p.m. here. Uh, so when I started, it was 5.30, 5 o'clock somewhere, and I, I got to open my beer. Uh, and now it's a little bit later. My beer is warm, <laughs> and my kids are going to be wanting to go to bed soon. That said, we've got to fix a couple more blocks. I cannot leave this <laughs> behind. Uh, uh, J Boogie Boy 56 says, Bye, City Planner. I'm going to go eat dinner and then read. Yes, have a good night, and I hope you're reading a good book. Not, uh, I know you're probably gone, but I'm, I'm, I'm uh, curious as to what you're reading. Let's see. May I ask what the rotating trees when you move one is? A mod. So I believe that this is part of the. Let me take a look. I don't think I have tree rotation anymore. That used to be a mod, but I believe it's part of Tree Anarchy now. And if you take a look in here. Oh. Yeah, I believe it's part of Tree Anarchy, where it just it rotates the tree now when you're putting it down. Um, Ben, thank you so much for the super chat. Do you have any of those ploppable his, uh, buildings as historic? I have that as my default option. So anything that I plop, we take a look, it's historic by default. So um, I would highly recommend that you do that. If you don't have that as your option, it is, everything's gonna uh, abandon on you and look terrible. So thankfully that has not been an issue because of that. Uh, so what we're gonna do, I will, okay, there we go. Although, ooh, collision is off. <laughs> We're gonna have that on. I'm gonna clean up this last block then I'll take some questions from you guys for a while, and then we'll head out. But I want to make sure that we get this done, because right now we have this block that is pretty ugly and strange, all because we just never finished it. So let's add these through. And these are more smiles assets, and look at how beautiful they are. 
some of my favorite assets uh, that I've that I've added to the build in the last while have been from Smiles. Highly recommend if you haven't checked them out in the workshop. Everything they're doing is amazing. That is, uh, I don't I don't believe that this is so they they have a collection of um, condos and apartments and uh, so many unique buildings. So definitely check them out. Planner Duck, you are so generous. Gifted five memberships. Thank you so much for doing that. And for everyone who just received a membership, I see, there we go, five of them. Go check out, there's a link on the community tab uh, to uh, the Vimeo. And with that, you will see the next Clearwater County. And plug your ears at 18 minutes, 35 seconds, I'm sorry. <laughs> It'll be better soon. Uh, 64,000, holy cow, whoa. I did not realize that the population had jumped up that much. Holy cow, that is awesome. Uh, please, please fix realistic population for government buildings. Okay. We'll take a look at that. I'll bite. I'll bite. Uh, and that actually reminds me. Someone asked earlier to look at the bus line by the university. We're going to do that as well. This isn't perfect, but it's a lot better. We'll fix more later. Uh, so I think most of these are in a pretty good place, if I recall. 172... 99 jobs, that's probably low, but I'm afraid to... Oh, sorry, I'm looking at this wrong. Uh, right here, 1,100 workers, 1,700. Th these all seem 1,494. This is a huge office building. There'd absolutely be that many jobs there. And the thing is, not everyone works in the building even. Uh, some people are going to work outside of it. So to me, these make sense. I'm seeing huge numbers and they make... Total sense to me. Yeah, I think we're going to roll with these numbers. I don't see any that seem off to me. Maybe the capital, but even at that, that's one branch of government. I'm good with I'm good with all these. If if there are there any comments or any any particular buildings that you don't you don't uh, think are right? If if there are, I'll definitely take a look. And I, I did zone some of the river in Verde Beach. We are going to fix that. I think, so I'm going to film that one tomorrow. And I did see that comment on a, on a couple of occasions. I also think I figured out why things aren't filling in as quickly as I'd hoped. So the next one is going to be heavy detailing, vanilla detailing, which I always think is a lot of fun. Plus, uh, we're going to have to build some things, uh, some utilities. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And I appreciate how polite everyone is in here. We got, we got uh, the folks that just got channel, uh, just became channel members. Thanking Planner Duck, I appreciate you guys. Thank you, Planner Duck. Thank you, Banana Man. Both of you, absolutely am amazing. All right, so we wanted to look at a bus line over here to see if we have a stop in front of the engineering building. So if you don't recall, see right here, I do not believe that we have a bus stop here. So let's take a look at our line. Oh, we do. We've got to stop right there. I think, I actually think that these routes are pretty good. I think the one place we could move this or have another stop right here so people could access this dorm, but truthfully, I think the routes are, this route's pretty solid. So I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to leave that one as is. We need a lot more transit, though. This whole area has been suffering. We have not put it on. Uh, we've not been adding it uh, sufficiently. Uh, Jay Drake, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. Uh, Van Buren needs a state Supreme Court. I agree. I agree. Needs a state Supreme Court. It also needs a law school. We are going to absolutely add both of those. So I apologize. I feel like we didn't accomplish a lot. But everything we've accomplished, I've appreciated. And although we did add like 10,000 populations, so that's something. <laughs> Would I ever bring back my city review series? I am trying right now. There's actually, so this is, uh, so Yuli Stormblessed asked if I would bring back city, uh, city Tips. So City Tips is the most challenging series to put together only because I spend most of my time not reviewing the cities, but actually getting the cities to work. So, uh, I think I, I'm i trying to review the collaboration from the Discord server right now. 
Um, when I'm done with that, I'm having simulation errors. When I'm done with that one, I am going to bring back a few episodes. Although I think I'm going to need to vary up how much are heavily modded and how much are vanilla. So it's a challenge because some of the modded builds are absolutely stunning. And, uh, you know, folks love seeing those ones. But they could just be a really ch big challenge to get running. I'm subscribing to all the mods then, subscribing to all the assets. And I often run into simulation errors where nothing happens. So Jackson, thank you so much for uh, the super chat. Thank you for what you do. I'm an architecture student in Chicago and your videos are great to listen to and watch while I'm working or relaxing. Thank you so much for the kind words. And Eli, super generous of you again. Last super chat, you must have missed my last one. Hope, hope you take that and my SSU logo idea and toss them around. I absolutely am. And I did, I thought I saw your last super chat. I'm sorry if I missed that. I did not mean to. Uh, Joe Bama, thank you for becoming an associate planner. Same with you, uh, Mercy Tech. Thank you for becoming an associate planner. And Dylan T. Ford, thank you for becoming an associate planner. I think right now we have we've accomplished some. <laughs> we've added a lot to the population. Probably the most out of any episode in the series, and it's a live stream, so I think it's pretty exciting. Uh, we've fixed the railroad tracks. We have built this massive apartment complex which needs its dog park. We're gonna give it that before we leave. We can't leave without a dog park. There we go, we've got the dog park there. We'll clean this up or I'll do a little bit off camera and bring it back. Uh, Siang Kao, thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate that. Um, so we'll bring this, we'll, we'll, we've, we've, we've brought this in. I'll clean this up a little off camera, make it look all pretty and shiny. And we've gone through here. We've built one block, little tiny bit here, two blocks, uh, you know, and uh, you know, a third one somewhere. Uh, and then we've cleaned up a bunch of buildings. So I wish I, I could have done more, but at the same time, I just like chatting and, and uh, having an opportunity to hang out with you guys. Uh, before I go, building spawn points of the warehouse at the train station. Oh, we have bridges. Yes. Yes. And uh, I, oh, Josh, I'm sorry to hear that you have COVID. The symptoms are absolutely brutal at times. So I, I'm glad that you could be distracted as well, because that's not at all fun. Uh, I had a, I think I had a headache for a week. When I did the global build off, um, I, I had COVID along with everyone in my family. Oh, this is why it is happening. This is why it's abandoning. So thank you. Great. Great, great, great. So, all right. Let's, I wonder. Can I just move this spawn point and not make a new one? So I think what I need to do is actually add, if I added a road there, that would probably do it. If I just do this. I'm just going to do that for now. Just scoot this over. And I don't know which building is so upset. This one? No. That's what I just did. This one? Ah, that's on the wrong side. So I will move this to be in the same spot. Rotate that around. Oh, I'll move it. Actually, I'm not rotating. I'm scooting it over. So yeah, I definitely need to add a road here. But for the time being, I'll just get it on the right side. And we'll call that good. There we go. Get a truck coming out there. I like that a lot more. I'm guessing you guys do as well. Uh, so let's see. We've got to end this. Uh, there we go. The trucks are coming out the right spot. There we go. Much, much, much better. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And right here, where is this one spawning? Again, wrong side. Let's get that fixed. And after that, we've got a couple of things that we need to do. So we got to end this the right way. There's only one way to end it. Let's see, we'll go over, do that. And then I will transition this there and a little bit closer. There we go. It's working again. All right. Well, I don't want to lose this. We made a lot of progress tonight. So the very first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and save this. And so 57th stream. There we go. And then go into here 
And what should we, where should we, uh, we I guess we've got to focus on this one block that we put together. Or we could go and focus on the bridges. I think we're going to do the block. we got to do the block. All right. So the block is here. We will focus on this block. Then we'll come up. We'll go here. And then I got to try not to show you everything. <laughs> we're going to go away. Way out, oh, way out there. And then we'll go six, six and 20. And then we'll set our day night there. And I will say, thank you so much for joining me, everybody. I've really uh, had a lot of fun with you guys in the stream. <sighs> Streaming is always such a blast and you guys totally make it worthwhile. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you have liked this. If you have, please hit the like button. It really helps with the algorithm, with the channel. Yes, I didn't get a lot done, but we've accomplished some things. <laughs> uh, so thank you so much for joining me. I cannot wait to see you in the next one. We are going to resume this thing and go out in style. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 that was not what I meant to do. <laughs> There we go, and you get a, you do get a little bit of a peek of what uh, what uh, I did. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, I might be on the Discord later on tonight, uh, but I do need to get my kids in bed, and apparently we have lost <laughs> everything. Take care. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.